This is literally oh what he does. This is what he's known for, by the way, is to just keep talking. Don't keep yelling, too. You want to keep yelling, too? You're constantly not letting anybody talk, dude. You're just bulldozing over this. The fact of the matter is, you are wrong that Jeff Bezos was your seems to be wrong that Jeff Bezos was and you were incorrect about the reason why the bank stopped offering him the availability Race is a social class. You were talking, you were interrupting a social You were just interrupting You literally interrupted me to call me white. And you're wrong again. So guys, topic number one is about this Reddit post that went kind of viral. Um, so here, I will share it and I will read it to the chat just because we want them to be kind of in the loop here. So it's, am I the asshole uh, post posted by a throwaway? Am I the asshole? Why did he put post on throwaway? That makes no fucking sense to me. This is so minor, but okay. Am I the asshole for being honest with my girlfriend when she asked a question about the birthday cake she made me? I, 34 male, had a birthday just yesterday, and my girlfriend, 36 female, offered to bake me a cake. I told her that I would prefer a chocolate cake, devil's food, with chocolate icing and nothing fancy. She's usually a great baker, and I guess she thought that wasn't sophisticated enough or something. She baked me a chocolate cake with vanilla icing between the two layers of cake, then surrounding it in chocolate frosting. The cake was fine, but I was disappointed because it was not what I wanted. She must have noticed and asked me if I was disappointed. So I was honest with her. Yes, I was disappointed. It wasn't the cake I asked for. I said, if I wanted vanilla in a cake, I would have asked for vanilla in the cake. I didn't make a scene. I didn't pout. I even ate half of a slice, the chocolate part. She got upset with me and said, but I've made vanilla cake before and you liked it. I pointed out that I don't mind vanilla uh, icing, but it's not what I wanted for my birthday. Her feelings were hurt. And she even pulled a, I'm not going to make you any cake next year, which I replied with, I will order my own and get my money back if they don't do it like I want it. Apparently, that was the last straw. She asked me to leave, later texted me, but I embarrassed her in front of the kids, and now she won't reply to my messages. I think birthdays are important things, and I feel like I was honest with her when she asked me. I don't want to lie about it. My friend told me I should have been grateful that she made me a cake at all, especially one that I've eaten and liked in the past. Maybe I overreacted a bit, though I don't feel like I did and hope to get a second opinion. Am I the asshole here? Um, so I guess we can go around. Um, uh, you guys can um, uh, introduce yourselves and then uh, voice whether you think this guy uh, was the asshole, I guess. So we'll start with Irrelevant. Uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, I think they were both a little bit rude to each other i feel like uh the dude probably like was very much hoping for a very specific you know obviously he was hoping for a very specific kind of cake on his birthday but like for the most part the cake met the specifications shouldn't be that upsetting right the vanilla in the middle there wasn't to my knowledge based on the post there wasn't anything specifically detailing that there can't be any vanilla inside of the cake and later according to the same post she had made a similar cake that he had liked before so she's like okay chocolate cake before i made a chocolate cake with vanilla layers or whatever you know on the inside it should be good stuff like that it shouldn't be that big of a deal uh, overall so i think he overreacted initially and then i think it got blown out of proportion afterwards uh so uh, by them both so i don't know i think it was a bit of a mess but he initially blew it out of proportion that's my opinion okay um i'm going to go to ginger next i think yes he's an asshole he is the <laughs> asshole and i think cake is disgusting huh oh, okay. <laughs> do you hate joy <laughs> uh no i just if i have to cover something in like a shit ton of ice cream to eat it it's just i might as well just eat the ice cream and leave the cake out of it this is a thermonuclear take jesus <laughs> that is crazy uh, nina what do you think I think I would, for the most part, agree with Relevant's take. Um, I, I think that, again, it was just... It was something nice. She just she 
she just kind of didn't really she took a little bit of a risk and like I, I think he kind of like was like again saying it publicly like she's saying obviously that, that like in front of her kids it made her feel bad like he's trying to say he didn't make a scene but he obviously said it in front of them so it whether he made a scene it doesn't mean anything when we're looking at like okay they obviously saw that and it's embarrassing i don't think that she should uh not text him back like i i am a, i don't i guess i kind of want to know the backstory of this no. how long have they been dating like mm-hmm. she's not like they're obviously not living together like but like you're tech you're not texting back i think that's pretty shitty i mean at least over a year because she said that uh or he he said that um uh well no she said he said he wouldn't do it next year well she said that because she she said that she had made it for his birthday last year and he didn't say i don't think she said her birthday i think that she 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 just made it a different time yeah she probably made it for like Um, one of her kids or something and then like he like ate i'm so some of it then yeah i i think they probably haven't been dating for very long so it's like kind of a breakdown in communication i think it's just kind mm-hmm. of like a, a really odd thing on both ends to like get really mad about like it's like okay maybe you guys are just not compatible <laughs> you know like i i think both have like a really weird response if he really wanted a specific thing he should have emphasized like i want this exact thing and whatever and she's just like okay i'll make that for you and then i was like and then she's thinking like, oh, I'll I'll add this like other uh, part of it or whatever. Um, but in general, I think on <laughs> both ends, it's so silly. And I really don't think that they've probably been together for very long because this seems like yeah. a uh, I've just started dating this type of person like Snilly. issue where you Yo. just you haven't really uh, understood what each other feel. But he he does seem like he is. Uh, being an asshole. Uh, okay. Um, King Brick shit. Uh, I think it's like they're both a little... I think it's the whole thing is like everybody else is saying. Mm-hmm. It's kind of ridiculous. I think they're, they're both a little bit at fault. He did specify he wanted a, like a devil's chocolate chocolate cake, right? So clearly he was looking for something chocolatey, right? But at the same time, like... He has every right to tell her, you know, hey, it's not really what I wanted. She asked him in, like, I guess in front of everybody else. So it's like it is, you know, it's not like he went out of the way and, like, said this in front of the kids, right? So she asked mm-hmm. him, are you feeling okay? Now, I think as a as a dude, if, if there's a bunch of kids and stuff like that, you're just like, yeah, no, thank you for the cake, honey. And then you can have, it, like, a private talk later. It's like, you know, and you can even, like, make it light of it. You know, I was really looking for a chocolate chocolate cake. And you can make, like, light of the situation. But he seemed to be really attached to it. And he was like, no, I wanted, you know, there was vanilla in the chocolate cake, so I don't like that. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. But she went out of the way to bake him a cake, right? So, like, be grateful for the cake and maybe, like, you know, smooth it over and just say thank you. And then, like, be like, you know, it wasn't chocolate chocolate, but the, ch- the cake was good anyway. I think it's it's both very silly. You know what I mean? It's like you, you got something to make you a cake on your birthday, you know? And I guess he yeah. didn't get his way. So I... I think they're both silly. I think they both kind of, they both were trying to do their, they both want to do their own thing, right? She wanted to make her own style of cake because, like, he told her, right? And she wanted to go and make a cake, and she chose not to make it chocolate, chocolate, or whatever the heck he wanted, right? So she went off and did her, her own thing. He specifically wanted his very specific thing. And, yeah, maybe they're just not that compatible. Like, you know, there's cer- certain things you got to let slide in a relationship, no? Like, like, and the type of icing on your cake, you know? But also, I think she kind of overreacted, too. Like, she didn't make the chocolate cake. And, you know, well, okay, my bad. Next time I know that, you know, if you want chocolate, chocolate, you're very specifically you want chocolate. Like, but again, it's cake. Somebody made you a cake. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's just such a first world problem, you know? Oh, I didn't get the exact type of chocolate cake I wanted. So, I think yeah. you're both in the wrong. Uh, um... Well, uh, I guess uh, what I'll say is I, I was very, very surprised at the amount of, like, conservative commentators that decided to quote tweet the specific thing and, like, comment on it. Kesty, thank you for the gifted sub. Um, uh, but, yeah, it became a big thing on Twitter. So, Doobie, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I think she's the asshole. I think that um, 
the fact that she would ask him what he wanted and then do not that thing, right? So to get his hopes up that he was going to get the cake that he wanted, do something else, then disregard his feelings about that, and then try to minimize his, his feelings as if they don't, they don't matter when he expresses why he was disappointed. And then the uh, ultimatum that she gave him, like, hey, either you like this cake or I'm never going to make you a cake again or whatever the fuck. I think that as a single mother, a 36-year-old single mother of multiple children, like she should, she should be the one grateful for what she has, right? And she wasn't, so I'm glad they broke up, and I hope this ain't broken up. Oh, they broke up? Did they break up? Yeah, he says in the post that she's not responding to him, that she said it was like over, basically. No, in the post, he says that um, he apologized and then asked for an apology, right? And or then what, what was the response to yeah, well, what's the end of that? Uh, well, okay, let me let me read yeah, it because uh, I actually, I think this it. edit, yeah, he put he put the edit in there, and I think this is actually the funniest part of the post is the edit afterwards. Um, <laughs> in my opinion, uh, it says edit. After oh, yeah, comments, God. yeah, this part was so funny to me. Edit. After looking at the comments, I've apologized to my girlfriend for being the partial asshole but also asked her for an apology as well because it looked like the results were about 50-50 <laughs> on whether I was or wasn't, at least when I skimmed them. She hasn't replied yet, but I assume I'll hear from her today. She is probably just thinking about how she can best apologize to me. What? <laughs> that, that is what a really weird fuck thing fuck to say. That? <laughs> I, I don't mean, think that's I, weird at all. That's totally reasonable. So, so I think a couple of you agreed that it was like a, it was like a mixed situation. I don't think yep. it's, it's that mixed. But if it is a mixed situation, why should he be the only one who apologizes? Well, I think it's like it's somebody it, 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 well, it, first to apologize. Yeah, but it's it is mixed because at the same like these clearly it's a young relationship, right? So like she mm -hmm. got him a chocolate cake, and some people like to do things and put their own little spin on things. Like it's not that big of a deal if you're gonna be really like picky yeah, about this. Kind of no, it isn't. It's a freaking cake, man. I mean, like, it's if not, you're it's a, not just if, a cake, it's, it, it's what the cake is meant to symbolize, right? It's his birthday. It's a one day of the year that this dude probably gets any kind of consideration. And on that day, she couldn't just do what the fuck he wanted after asking him what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. look, uh, no, I mean, like, you have a point. Like, he asked for one specific thing, right? But at the same right. time, like, she doesn't know this was going to... Look, when I was seven years old, my little cousin put her finger in the cake, right? And I fucking threw a fit, right? At the end of the day, I still got a cake. The part, there was a whole party about me. But, yeah, I was seven years old. For a grown man to act like this is kind of like, look, like man... Like what? To, to man, assert, assert, assert his bro, preference as, and stick bro, to it bro, and be honest a, about what yeah. he feels? Yeah, but no, he's not look, giving look, an option to fix it. Like, that's kind of, like, the big thing. It's, like, he's just kind of, like, like okay, you can, you can talk about, like, like the you, issue, you, sure, but, like... You ruined my birthday. How do you, that's what how this do you is. fix it? Wait, hold, hold on. So if she asks him what he wants, then she does something else. Right. How do you how do you fix that? You fix it by her either well, her apologizing, reaction, apologizing well, yeah, or yeah. or making the correct fucking cake. Well, her reaction is the problem, right? They're, both their reaction <laughs> sure. is the problem, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't the right cake, but you still should be happy that a loved one went out of their way to make you a cake. She didn't go out and buy. Look, she could have went out and bought like a friggin' ice cream cake, right? And like, what is he going to be like? Oh, well, she got me an ice cream cake instead of a devil's chocolate food cake because they didn't have any like. She mm -hmm. went out and did a nice thing. Her problem, yeah. like, the problem is her reaction, right? Well, fine, I'm not going to make you a cake anymore, right? But at the same time, he reacted in a way where it's like, hey, you know, I really enjoyed the cake, but I was looking forward to, you know, there's ways to say things without, like, you know, making right. a big Even deal of it. Some of it. What's the issue with that? They were, he, the ate, he said he ate half a slice. He said just the chocolate. That's fine. Part. But like, he was, but he said also he was clearly, like, displeased. Yeah, but he was clearly it's displeased, so it's not... It's not just that he ate the cake and said it was fine. He was clear, like, she asked him if, she, if he was, if anything was upset. So he was clearly pouting in front True. of everybody else. Like, this wasn't, like, there, like, you have to realize, like, the post was made by him. So he's not going to, mm -hmm. like, he's going to leave out parts where it's like, yeah. So True. then yeah. I was, I was all moody for the rest of the friggin' party. Like, no. He was moody for the party. She clearly asked, well, what's the problem? It's like, well, I really want the chocolate chocolate cake. It's like, look, for a kid, yeah. For a grown man, just be yeah. like, hey, you know, you say that later. You say, like, no, cake was fine. And then you go and you could, like, even, like, you know, make light of it. Later when you guys are hanging out, it's just the two of you. It's like, you know, I really could have used the chocolate chocolate cake. And, like, like just play around with that and have some fun in the relationship. But he went well, they and, were, like, okay, so I agree with that. So you think that the correct way for a guy to handle this is to lie. 
in the movie. No, you don't lie. lie. You, you don't lie. You lie. It's, it's called tact. Awesome. It's just called tact. Yeah, like, like yeah. why, no, why, it's, it's why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? As he said, he was obviously acting weird, right? Like, that's not a lie. Like, It's not weird. There's nothing weird about it. He was intentionally trying to be passive aggressive. But I'll tell you this, like, you say lying, right? There's things you omit when there are children involved, right? For the and what sake do you call of the that? children. What, you can call it a lie of omission. You can call it a lie of omission. Yeah, you can yeah, call it a lie of omission. But, yes, sometimes you do have to lie to smooth things over. Like, a little white lie because you don't want to be an adult throwing a pouty fit at, the, at a party when there's children. Like, there's well, little be... things that are expected of adults that you have to do well, for the sake of other is people. It? Is it the children's parties? Or it's is everybody's it party? party. It's everybody's. No, that's, Look, ridiculous. It, it, not, uh, that's ridiculous. It's it's not, it's not, you can have your case. No, but, no, but here's the thing. But, no, here's the issue. You're saying whose party is it? But you're saying you don't understand what the point of a party is. The party isn't that it's just all you. The party is that it's your friends and the people around you, right? what birthday parties are meant to be. Yeah, but that's what he thinks they're supposed to be. Right, so they're supposed to be celebrating him. It's his day, right? So, like, again, yeah, so, right. so the fact that you think that he should, like, set his feelings aside for everybody else on his day is ridiculous. You, well, the thing is, it doesn't really mm. matter. Wait, there are kids, it's, though, right? Matters yeah, the yeah, there are yeah. kids there. Like, at the end of the day, when you're an adult and there are other people involved, like, there are things you do for the sake of others. Like, yeah, it's your day, right? But unless you're, like, treated horribly yeah, you throughout just the year, the you don't need that one. You're expected to do. I understand. I understand no, what you're go, feeling. You, this is no, why you, the, the male suicide rate is so high. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Because, because people don't get shot in the cake. Down the <laughs> And, and you, all I you're see, doing is perpetuating it because you're a I, I see You're really I see making why, men Maria. seem like so fragile if you're going to say that the male suicide rate is high because they don't get their <laughs> hey, fucking hey, cake. Hey, this wouldn't be the first time that like, a revolution was kicked off because somebody said to eat cake and they didn't like it. So, you know. Look, they were both being little bitches about it. And I, although she should have probably just made the cake that he asked for, his, his reaction to it is ridiculous. Yeah. He didn't have to say anything and she wouldn't have had to say anything. Had he just kept a, you know, a mutual look on his face, ate his damn cake like he normally would because he's never said mm -hmm. that he didn't like it. He just wanted a different cake, which means that he was fine eating it before, but he's acting like a petulant child because she changed the cake on him. It's just... Okay, it's I'll, so push, I'll push back you, on that a little bit I because... I, I don't necessarily agree with that being the case. I'm sure everybody in here, every single person, can appeal to idea that you like various different foods, but on certain days, they're just not very good. They're, they're actually, they might even be a little bit gross because like maybe your body's acting a little bit way or maybe you're getting really excited for specific things and you get, you get hyped up for specific things. So it kind of lets you down. I'm not, I, and something else that I noticed is that people were here, a lot of us are saying he was pouting and things like that. Maybe he was just like disappointed and couldn't contain his disappointment and stuff like that. It's not necessarily like, hmm, okay, I, like, I is my of, and stuff like that. You know, maybe well, he was just okay, like, well, I can kind of I don't do know. lenience to, I'm sorry. I still think it's a first world problem. Like, well, of course, like, he's disappointed have, about a cake. About cake. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, like, man, yeah. How about this? Man up, dude. Like, no, man I can kind of give leniency to the fact. To point. I can kind of well, give. Oh, no, yeah. Well, Doobie's point is that every single oh, person I, I has ask. to be coddled, and we're all special snowflakes. Like, no, there are things that are expected of you when you're an adult, right? And like, be an adult. That's what's expected of you. It's like, oh, well, if everybody is not treated like exactly like, you don't always get what you want. And he has a right to be upset. And her reaction was bad but at the same point like if he just kept the like you know just like it's not that i think if there's food, one day to expect in, in, that you get something you want i think it would probably be your birthday what about Christmas? What about every other holiday? Christmas right? ain't about me, brother. My birthday's <laughs> about me. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Chris, it's, Christmas it's, it's, is way Jesus, more. If this dude, was no. Christmas, I think everyone here would be in agreement. You do whatever for the kids. Christmas is about children. Like, like okay. low-key. That's really what it's about. It's Come like on, if you man. have kids in the, in the situation. <laughs> if you got yeah, yeah. kids in this situation, then yeah, it's about. Then yeah, then yeah, that's what it's about. I, mean, I just want to like. There you go. Uh, I was wondering, I was like, like, have you guys ever dated somebody or had like a partner where nope. they like you can read? <laughs> <sorry>. Okay, <laughs> but um, where it's you sorry. can tell when they're upset or like like they're like kind of being like kind of passive aggressively upset because maybe they're not like super um, you know, out there with like their emotions and and just like of course, you know, and like because they're kind of acting in a way that they're trying to tell you something because I kind of get that sense from this was oh. 
shit, we lost one. Yeah, I got the um, same sense, especially with the behavior afterwards or whatever. Mm-hmm. I I can visualize these people. I can they're morphing in front of my eyes. This guy, I, I'm like I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he wasn't pouting, but I'm about ninety five percent sure he was pouting. He was like. Mm-hmm. <sighs> See, the point is, to, to me, the Going problem is, is that if it was like a completely different kind of cake, I would be I would be more inclined to say, oh, sure. maybe he's more upset. But like he. OK, so he wanted a chocolate moon cake. Right. So he wanted like a a a different kind of chocolate cake with a different kind of icing in the middle. Like it's just it's. It's not like he didn't get a chocolate cake with a different, like with icing in the middle. He got, it's not, and he keeps adding like, oh, it was a vanilla cake. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> even, even, even the cake that he wanted has, has cream in the middle. It's just not icing. Like, mm-hmm. he's. Yeah. yeah, I think, I think I, you know, I think I've changed my opinion a little bit. I think he is way more in the wrong. Okay. That's basically you're a sexist. He should kill himself. He didn't get the cake he wanted. <laughs> oh <my laughs> what? He didn't get the cake he wanted. It's a, compre- it's a completely it's reasonable outcome. <laughs> like, yeah, so I think that what's, what's likely to me, so you guys were talking about like visualizing him, you know, moping at the table or whatever. Um, when I, what I'm able to visualize is her just liking the cake that, the cake that she made before more than the cake that he asked for. So rather than do it, what he asked, he, she made the cake that she wanted to eat. Well, no, you're, you're which ignoring like what, what, which is probably what Ginger happened. Ginger just said. Right? She, what no, do you mean probably what wait, happened? Wait, wait, hold on. So, so she said that, uh, he said that she made that cake before, right? So this is probably a cake that she likes. And she probably made it because she likes to eat it more than the no, cake no, that no, you want. That's not what I said. That's uh, not what I, I said. didn't say that's what you said. I'm saying, I'm saying that's what oh. I said, right? So that's probably uh, why think, she made um, that cake, right? So if we're going to clear... make, like, assume yeah. shit about him, I think it's pretty safe to assume that about her, which makes her even more the asshole. Yeah, but what if she couldn't find the uh, like the devil's chocolate filling that uh, he wanted so badly? Uh, yeah, like, what, like was... no cake, or like you get the vanilla filling or whatever. You know? Yeah, like you don't. You're describing. Some, else sometimes they, they were. What are you sometimes they do? They were... She's just baking a goddamn cake. It's not her entire life. Well, to be to be honest, if she can't find the ingredients, then she's a horrible communicator because that would be the first <laughs> response you would say. If your husband got or your sorry, your boyfriend got upset that you didn't make the cake that he wanted, your first response would be they didn't have those ingredients at the store. Sorry, yeah, no, it wouldn't be stupid. like this whole whatever shit. Like th- that's yeah. so then she's a dog shit communicator if that's the case. I want to I want to interject here real quick. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so I don't know if she she made this specific cake prior. She just said I've made vanilla cake before yeah. and you like it. It's so, just, she probably thought that the vanilla was not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. that's probably what she was I don't thinking. understand how it ends up being a vanilla cake, which is vanilla icing. I don't. That's not well, a could, vanilla cake. Well, it wasn't. I mean, chocolate I th- cake, you know. What is a devil's chocolate cake? Uh, it's like fudge and stuff. Like I think I don't know baking, but I think it has like chocolate fudge and everything else in it. It's like a cakey fudge. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a cake expert. But she uh, did make that cake. It just also had vanilla. V- vanilla yes. icing in between the layers, I believe. Yes, but, yes, but she didn't make the cake. She just added something added more. Added vanilla well, to, icing. To, to I be believe. fair, there's there's definitely a difference between between the devil's food versus um, like the cake. Just like there's a difference between like the angel food cake versus regular cake. I don't. Right, Why but, do you but know she so made much about what, cake if you ate it. She, <laughs> if she already made the cake that they wanted, like what is the problem with just like okay, so that's like having a garnish on the side that you just don't like, like. You don't have to eat it, right? Well, but the thing is, crazy. he just want like he was cool with cho- vanilla cakes before. He liked vanilla cake before, right? So whatever reason she chose, it was chocolate cake, right? The actual cake part, right? Because like him saying that it was not a chocolate cake is like absurd. The cake part was chocolate, if I believe, right? That like the, I, the, I believe the, the outside again, like, was so chocolate. She yeah. made no, no, but the no, the, he no, but the, the baked part, right? The cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cakes, yeah. As right? well as the cake. That yep. that was chocolate. There was chocolate mm-hmm. on the outside. The only thing that the the one filling of layer between the other like layers was vanilla. Correct. Right, like to my knowledge. So. So like it was a just chocolate eat cake. It. it was a chocolate cake. Well, yeah, exactly. It was a... at least for oh, yeah. one little slice of it. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, again, my thing is like, just just look. Even if you don't like the fucking cake, just eat some of it. 
in like in front of everybody else be like you know hey yeah it's good i know i like the cake and don't be a modi or like a mopey person where everybody on your birthday is seeing you mope around like mm -hmm. because of because of some cake look i understand if you want to say like yeah you should get the things that are for you on your birthday right but like at the same time like I don't know. It's more than cake, right? It's like the people around you is like a big part of the party, right? So if right. you're going to go and one little thing is going to soil your friggin' day and then you're going to go and not appreciate everything else around you, like, come on, man. You're well, missing on, the point clear, of... It doesn't seem like there's a big party. It seems like it's, it's him, her, and her kids. Right? Like so, she, there's nobody, nobody else. Well, I don't know. We don't have that like lore. Yeah, we don't have that. I mean, you, well, you really but, think? But, but, so but this, even so, this was a but big even party. So. Hold on, this is a big okay. party. Do you think no, she would have but... asked him to leave his own fucking party? Like, I, I doubt it. Yeah, like, that, that, would, that would be yeah. crazy, bro. Be what? what? It seems like this thing at her house <laughs> with her kids. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right about that. Yeah, but even even so, what? Go to the store and buy your own devil's food cake and eat it tomorrow. Like, okay, is it like, like modern problems require modern solutions? Like, just Uber I mean, eats some like cake or some shit. That's what she yeah. should have done if she didn't have, if she wasn't going to tell him that she wasn't going to make the cake. But she uh, did she make it though. Thought, but, okay, but it's not the same kind of cake that he wanted. So I'm saying yeah, if she it, didn't want no, to but make it, it is. It's, no, it's not. It isn't though. Okay, but they, okay, I thought we confirmed that it was, she made she the made cake, it, it was just two layers were connected with vanilla frosting. No, yeah, no, no. It was, not, and it was the cake that, he the wanted. The exact makeup of the fucking cake doesn't matter, right? The, the point is, it wasn't. No, it does. It's important. No, actually, it does. No, dude, you're wrong. It does matter. The, the makeup of the cake is what makes that the cake. Was, it's it's, yeah. a cake, food cake it's, a cake it's a chocolate cake, but a devil's food cake is a chocolate cake with fudge filling or whatever. I don't know it, but it's th that's the difference. Is the exact makeup of the cake. It's not like it was a mostly vanilla cake with some chocolate. It was a mostly chocolate cake with some vanilla. The difference is a devil's food chocolate cake is all chocolate. Like that's so it wasn't the, the cake that's the wanted, matter, right? Yeah, it wasn't okay, the cake well, he wanted. Then why are we arguing about the cake? We we understand it was not the cake oh, he wanted. Well, here's my Let's thing. Move on from that point. Why is well, I mean, was it right? the cake he wanted without the frosting? No, actually, so the fact, that, the fact that she put the, vanilla, the chocolate icing around the vanilla demonstrates that she actually had all the fucking ingredients okay. to make the cake you wanted. What? No, that's not true because one what do has you mean? cocoa powder. Well, because one has cocoa powder in it, the other one doesn't have cocoa Why do you know powder? so much, you about, know so much about cake? cake if you soda have... in it than the other one has. Do you like baking? Cake 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 <laughs> because she cares. We're supposed to know about the topic. Do you guys not study for this cake drama? Come on. <laughs> I feel like we're all in the same bit except for Ginger who's like, okay, listen, a pinch of this, a dash but of that. I'm serious, it's different the way that it's made. So if she technically didn't have cocoa powder, it's completely different. It makes the consistency of the cake totally Thank different. Thank you, Chef Thicker. <laughs> Thicker. Um, See? The, the guy, we should get the guy to date Ginger. That way he can get the right type of cake. Exactly. Oh, absolutely not. I would have shoved that cake back in his face. <laughs> but you would have made the right cake, so it would have been, it would have been, went off perfect without a hitch. You wouldn't have to worry yeah. about that. Uh, just, just a quick comment here. Um, I looked up Devil's Food Cake on Wikipedia. So did. Yes, go for it. <laughs> yes, 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 because uh -oh. we saw it too. <laughs> oh, oh, you saw. Okay, yeah, yeah, they it? they linked it inside of my shit. Too. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So what I'm seeing here is that um, it, it's a, a devil's food cake is a moist, rich ch uh, chocolate layer cake. Um, because of differing recipes and changing ingredient availability over the 20th century, it's difficult to precisely qualify what distinguishes devil's food from more standard chocolate cake. However, it traditionally has more chocolate than a regular chocolate cake, making it darker in color and heavier in texture. The cake is usually paired with a rich chocolate frosting. Um, but in here, in this link here, is there's a, there's a picture of a devil's food cake with vanilla icing. Uh-oh. Huh? Uh -oh. yeah, yes. it, it, no, definitely. Uh -oh. okay, Maybe she so that's, Googled it. That's called a that's called a chocolate moon. Bruh. Ain't what? no <laughs> way. Ain't no way. Culprit, by the way, in chat. Goom. Uh so okay, so somebody in chat, okay, testicle Johnson in YouTube chat. Let's go. Um uh just um super chatted to say she intentionally hid the vanilla because she's a bad girlfriend. Imagine the feeling of betrayal he felt after that first bite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she intentionally hid it, um, but well, may maybe he should be happy it's over, right? 
Like, if you can't make the right cake, I mean, apparently that's the most important thing in yeah, a relationship. She yeah. obviously yeah. doesn't care enough. Yeah, she doesn't care enough to... I, he, I don't think he, I've... He does one... it. Yeah, he, he clearly does, you know. She cared enough to make a cake, but... And she, I guess, maybe, like you said, she looked up Devil's Food Cake and she saw vanilla icing on it. And her sin is that she didn't, like, research enough into the history of Devil's Food Cake. And she's like, oh, <laughs> Devil's Food Cake, vanilla icing, all right, I got it for you, like... I mean, I actually like yeah. angel food cake. I think you I just didn't you just food say food. you hated cake? I, I said I actually <laughs> do like angel food cake. Wow. Light. I like angel wow. food cake. Inconsistent. It's yeah. It's oh, I'm very <laughs> We could never date now. Somebody in chat asked. Okay, somebody in chat asked, um, what if it, Char asked, what if it was the cake his dead mom always made him? We don't have that information. Um, but um, I, I think we can move on to like a, um, an additional, um, yeah, an additional question for this topic was, uh, what impact does social media criticism have on individuals and their relationships? Because um, clearly this guy with the edit Right. We saw the edit in in the um, in the Reddit post where he said, you know, seems like um, uh, the results were about 50, 50 on whether I was or wasn't, at least when I skimmed them. This dude is like going to Reddit <laughs> for the ultimate verdict on this. <laughs> so Reddit probably ruined his relationship. Probably. Um, what impact think- does social media criticism have on individuals and the relationships how can people navigate online criticism without damaging their personal lives uh who wants to weigh in on this i Wait, i'm sorry what was oh sorry go ahead oh I no you want to read yeah you want to read it yeah i can reread it um so the question is what impact does social media criticism have on individuals and their relationships and how can people navigate online criticism without damaging their personal lives? Don't post your relationship issues to Reddit when they're still, like, not even solved yet. Like, if you're going to Reddit, like, look, if you want to go to, like, your friends or even your coworkers, right? right? But, like, posting posting this, to, what if she goes on Reddit? What if she sees this and is, like, you're, you're criticizing and, like, showing our whole thing up? Maybe that's why he made the throwaway. Wait a minute. That's, you were saying before, why do you make this on a throwaway? Maybe he makes it on a throwaway because she knows that she goes on Reddit as well. So oh, maybe I think yeah, I think go- being um, vague is like kind of OK, but I think this is more of like a you need to talk to your like therapist about this type of shit. Like the random people online, they, they don't have the qualifications to respond correctly. Like I am not a therapist. I don't know what the right answer for this is. Um, we have our opinions, of course, but I, I just I feel like it's a little a little silly billy behavior to uh, ask the internet for help like that. Especially Reddit, but there are therapists on Reddit, <laughs> so you know maybe maybe he was hoping. Uh, yeah, I constantly say I'm a therapist on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one of those. I think I ran into you once before, but that's why I, that's why I was posting my relationship issues. Didn't work out. My bad. Well, you know okay. she made the wrong cake, so I, I dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So I think we I think we've kind of been on this issue for long enough. Um, later on, eight forty five uh, EST, I'll open the panel. Um, but um, quickly before we move on to the next topic, um, Mad Mex super chatted to say, uh, "Tell Brick I say hi." Also, I worship real cake. Okay. Hey, what's up, um, Max? How you doing? Uh, okay. So next topic. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this trending, but I follow, you know, I like to follow a lot of different people with different political beliefs. So I have seen this and it, it's fucking wild to me. But um, recently, hashtag ban the ADL started trending on Twitter. Uh, it's gotten so much traction that even Elon Musk has tweeted about it. Um, and basically, uh, the tweet is um, Elon Musk uh, saying ADL has tried very hard to strangle X slash Twitter. Um, continued, um, do users of this hashtag have good reason to be critical of the ADL? Is there a reasonable concern about a rise in anti-Semitism recently? And is it the responsibility of platform owners like Elon Musk to actively monitor and regulate the content and conversations 
taking place on their platform to prevent the spread of hateful hashtags and ideologies. Um, so, uh, uh, let's start with King Brickshit. Uh, I, I was going to say, um, I don't think, let's we'll start off with the, is it Elon Musk's responsibility? I think the, like, the change that he did recently where he allows the community to make edits and stuff like that and make it a more democratic process instead of it being like a, uh, a, a fact checker at like a Twitter HQ. Uh, I think the, the general public isn't like fully full of rhetoric and hate filled. You know, most of the time, I think most people end up being erring towards the sides of being reasonable. Um, so I think, I think that also at the same time, the banning the ADL, uh, like that hashtag, is like a, a reactionary um, movement towards the, f like, people don't trust institutions anymore, and people don't trust institutions that they perceive as political, right? And I think uh, the ADL uh, is one of these organizations that is politicized. Um, what, like, no matter what side of the aisle on, you know, they do things that are good, right? But I think the people uh, who would be tweeting this type of stuff feel like the ADL doesn't stand up for people like them, right? Because, you know, they st they're the anti-defamation league, right? Um, they never stepped up when, like, there's, like, false, like, accusations of so-and-so being a racist, right? And that's literally defamation. So mm -hmm. I think there's people on the side of, you know, people of being defamed, right? Being called a this and a that on the internet who feel like, this organization who has all this historical clout or prestige, right, does not stand for them. And that they feel not only do they not stand for them, but when they feel like they get silenced by organizations like this who use their sort of prestige and like institutional power to limit their speech. And the problem is you don't want, you know, I'm more of like a free speech absolutist. I don't want anybody oh. to have speech limited. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think you should be able to say whatever you want in the internet. I mean, if you are, truly have bad speech, like I think most people are good people, and it'll just weed itself out eventually. Um, but Elon Musk also does just like to jump on like meme positions as well. So I don't. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Next up, we'll go to Nina because I saw you shake your head. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous word salad bullshit I've ever fucking heard. You. <laughs> In the same breath, said that you're a free speech absolutist, but you want the ACL banned? Do you understand no, how no, contrary I, I, that is with no, anything I, that happened about like? Oh. I don't want. The, I don't want them banned. I said that I could understand why people feel like the ADL doesn't stand for them. Why do you them. feel that way? Because, like I said before, there is defamation that's thrown around to like major political well, then what, uh, figures. Shouldn't you be uh, all all about that on Elon well, Musk's Twitter? Well, I want the ADL to stand for what it stands for, to what it's and, named uh -huh. after, right? The, it, and how is it not in them? Because when when there's false accusations of so and so being a racist, a sexist, a misogynist, right? They don't stand and say, actually, no, look, this is defamation. There's, like, no evidence of this person being this, right? You know, you, you understand that hate speech went up, like, severely after Elon Musk, like, took over uh, uh, Twitter. Before we get into... Guys, yeah, but it's also, like... Forth, before, sorry. Well, let's... Okay. Yeah, I don't want to... I want to give people a chance to give their intro. So, Nina, give, give what your thoughts are on this phenomenon of, like, the hashtag ban the ADL trending... You know, your thoughts on the questions, you know, whether Elon Musk has a responsibility to... Sure, 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 sure. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think that the idea of, like, you say that you're a free speech absolutist while then in the same breath wanting something banned or, like, supporting <laughs> any movement behind that is completely incoherent and, like, psychotic. Um, no, I, I don't band, really... Hey, it's my about... thing, my guy. <laughs> um... And, and, and I just, like, I don't understand, like, how you could possibly hold the belief that somebody should, like, they're a hate group look, because they're anti-defamation uh, league. Um, what they do generally is, like, they don't have any power. Like, I don't understand where you're coming from, where you're saying, like, oh, they're, like, they're, like, the boogeyman, like, doing something like that. Like, it, it, like you're demonizing, a, 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 um, like, a social uh it's kind of like the, the ACLU or whatever. Like, it's just like they don't really have any power. They're just kind of like a lobbyist group for, like, civil rights. Like, I, like, I don't understand how you could possibly be, again, a free speech absolutist and then say we should ban something. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Do you want me to respond to that? Do you want to pass it around the other way? Okay. Right? Uh, let's, let's, let's pass it on. Um, I, uh, 
to the next person. So, uh, Ginger, why don't why don't you go ahead? Yeah. Um, well, I have a problem with the way that people are trying to go about even um, silencing the ADL. Um, well, there's a lot of hypocrisy that goes on in in both sides of the community where we all speak about uh, freedom of speech and then we're quick to silence the opposition because we're afraid of people hearing it and believing it and you know all this all this nonsense but uh, I think sometimes it's important to be able to speak your mind however I don't think going about it this way is is okay and I also don't understand their fear in the ADL. Um, if they don't think that it is, um, if, if they didn't think it was worth having, then they wouldn't be so afraid of it and they would be trying to knock it down. Um, okay. Uh, Doobie. Uh, I think the ADL is a racist, uh, basically like Jewish supremacist group. And, and I think it's reasonable for for Elon Musk to want them off the platform. I think when people say they have no power is like ridiculous, right? Um, there are fucking dozens of examples you could find of anybody criticizing Israel ever, and you find Jonathan uh, Greenblatt or one of their other like uh, spokesmen on CNN same day or the next day calling this person an anti-Semite, smearing the fuck out of them, get, getting advertisers to leave the organization, trying to get them fired, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these people have no, like, influences is really dumb. Like, it's, I, they're clearly uh, well, operating as, like, a, I'd call them, like, the PR, like, one of the PR uh, arms of Israel, right, which is a fucking ethno state that is racist, that is genocidal, that is disgusting, right? So, so I don't see why we should give them any kind of leeway anywhere, right? We shouldn't listen to them. It, there's, there's something that happened um, fucking like four years ago, right? That, that really got me like questioning the ADL, where there was like a pro-democracy movement um, that decided, uh, and like Jewish groups had, had participated in, the, in these marches every like year, right? And, and the year after... Israel passed, passed the uh, nation state law, which uh, basically says says in law that, that Israel is an ethno state for the Jewish people, the Jewish culture, the Jew Jewish religion, and that uh, the right to uh, self-determination is unique to the Jews in Israel. So after that law was passed in Israel, this group said, hey, if that's Israel's policy, we don't want Israeli groups marching with us because we're a pro-democracy movement. And that's not very like pro-democracy, right? that kind of language. So the response from this guy was to go on CNN, label the entire group as anti-Semitic, try to link them to fucking Nazis, right? And and just smear smear the, the leadership, the people there, try to try to pull advertisers from from the from the marches. Like this is what they do. Right. So I I think it's totally reasonable for, for people to want them banned. Okay. Uh irrelevant. All right, what a what a performance to go after, huh? Uh, now I don't exactly have uh, like the full discography of what the ADL has done. It sounds like uh, the brother Doobie has uh, done a bit of his reading and stuff like that. So I'd actually like to go back and forth with some of the scenarios that you're talking about and look a little bit more in depth for it. But I'm not sure exactly we have the specific time for it. Maybe we can also do that another time. But though my idea around the ADL and how much criticism it's getting is. Typically, of what I've seen, the the actions that people are criticizing the ADL for have reasonable uh, um, uh, circumstances that they might actually be the ADL might be pushing for these things, and it's kind of like misinterpreted or maybe misunderstood, and things like that. So there are cases where in which the ADL might be acting out of pocket or propagating some idea of uh, upholding a Jewish ethno state in Israel. Then I'd have to take a look at that, but. For the most part, I think that the ADL, uh, in many of the criticisms that I've seen, has acted pretty reasonably. So that's what I would say. I'd say Elon Musk's conduct towards it, I, I don't know. Elon, Elon Musk is a bit of a memer. He kind of throws shit around. I, I don't really know what he's doing, to be honest. He has sway. He has influence. So he's definitely throwing some shmshmeat around, but um, I, I don't know the coherence of his tweets. Okay. Wow. Okay. Do you guys want more examples of AD, the ADL? Being <laughs> I do. Uh, no, I thought, I thought that Nina and, and Brick were going to go at it with each other. 
I'm well, I don't know. Yeah. Keep, I can't tell if he's still here or not. No, he's no, I'm sorry. Discord keeps <laughs> crashing on me. I apologize. It's, oh, it's a great sorry. app. It's a great app. It happens. It, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't always like me. Um, no, I mean, I. that's, you know, like uh, what Doobie said is they do draw water. They do throw around, around their clout and, you know... Look, the question is, like, do they have, like, to say they have no influence is insane. So the, no, I so said they but, don't have power, not influence. But they do have power. There's there's types of power. Right? There's, well, I'll tell you, there's types of power. There's power where it's like, you know, I can create laws, right? And send, like, agents to your house you, to arrest you, right? You think that right? they can create but, laws but there, to but send there's, agents? But there's, sorry, there's, what did you there, there's soft power, right? There's hard power, right? Where if I don't pay my taxes, right, the government's going to come and they're going to get me, right? Because they made this a law saying... This sounds like saying, a cope. No, it's not a cope. There's two types of power. There's hard power, right? Which I understand like, the difference between hard power and soft power. And soft yes. power. The ADL, they traffic in soft power. They traffic in networking. Okay, so with, give me with... an example where they've done something with their soft power. Like, well, I mean, like, I yeah, mean, they, what, they can what, influence do... things, which well, is what their entire point of existing is. Yeah, and before Elon Musk had Twitter, right, the ADL had power to talk to the executives at Twitter, right, and be able to say and do whatever they want. Like Doobie said, if somebody criticized whoever, right, the ADL can go. Is there proof of that? Is there proof of that? I mean, I don't know Doobie's points exactly, but yeah, the ADL is not exactly a non You're just going to agree with him and not know what the fuck he's talking about? They, I don't know his specific points, but the ADL oh, is oh known. God. You're just okay. saying things. No, the ADL is known for being not exactly nonpartisan, right? They mm -hmm. ally, they, sure. they, they, they were founded, right, as a, as a, as a, what, like a, like, a, like a, there's some uh, Israeli, uh, like, order for, like, public. They're, they're a Zionist safety. lobby group. That's what they are. Well, and not even Zionism, that. They, they were they were founded is in they, race, is, is they, like a former Jewish supremacy. So it like, was it wasn't founded it wasn't I mean, founded I'm as a non secular group. Well, it was not I, a non secular group. It was founded by like a Jewish uh, like public works order, pretty much in like 1913. They separated from it, right? Okay. Um, but at the end of the day, they do have a side in like they're in the battle, right? They have a side. Well, of, I don't know what what's the battle. Well, the battle is speech, right? Is saying who has valid speech? speech or not, right? Okay, because but they, they're going to be hard they, No, but their name is the Anti-Defamation League, right? When they go and defame people, right? Or when they go and do not stand up for people who are being defamed because they are not their political ally, right? They are no longer a group who's just there to do good and do what's in the name, which is anti-defamation. Like, nobody okay, wants so to be Okay, so what are they doing right? about the Zionists? Like, what, do you, what, do, what does that have anything to do with what we're talking about? I mean, I'm not. I, I, one, I guess I'm deferring to Doobie, right? I'm, I'm saying that Doobie. I'm oh, because you want Doobie to do your arguments for you? Okay. No. Doobie, go ahead. I'm not, not saying. I mean, I mean so would I, I, but... I mean, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying is, uh, I'm saying when it comes to Doobie's thing, he brought very specific points, right, of very specific people, right, who did very specific things, right. I don't have those points, right. Well, but why unless, are you talking un about it? Unless what well, Doobie said. I'm talking about the other side of the issue, right, where they not of when they go after people for doing certain things, right. I'm talking about. When they don't Doing stand certain up, things. Well, huh? yeah, well, like when they label people as anti-Semitic, right? Like that. Uh -huh. I'm. I, that's not even my dog in the in the race, right? My thing is, Where is the bigger this? the bigger issue Let's is if, the they, Where if, is they, if they claim to be anti-defamation, they should be anti-defamation for everybody, right? Because defamation is is cancerous and corrosive on political discourse, right? If you could throw around defamatory statements and claims, right, and people go and do this act the on time. them. Well, no, but it's not healthy. You know why they got formed, right? One of the major cases was Leo Frank, right? A guy who was who was convicted of a crime, right? Because what people perceived as uh, yellow journalism and sensationalism, mm -hmm. right? He was convicted of a crime. Are you being people, racist because I'm Asian? No, he was. Yes, yes, I'm being racist. Yellow journalism <laughs> is it's always slanted, right? The fact of the matter like is. Like my that, eyes, you racist. <laughs> I didn't say. I, I didn't say. I didn't even know you were Asian. <laughs> Just don't write newspapers, okay? <laughs> but the fact of the matter yeah. is, like, they were founded off of, like, a very serious case. A person who was defamed in the newspapers, right, and was hung through vigilante justice, what they thought was vigilante justice, Are you justice, just reading right? your Wikipedia, or do you have a point? No, the point is... Let me get to my friggin' point. The point is okay. this, is the defamation, right, can come from simple things as, mm -hmm. like, making lies about people where mm -hmm. now, now people who are trying to be educated voters, right, get are voting off the oh wrong my God. information, Please right? Please, get to your point. For the love of The point of is defamation is it, you can't claim to be the anti-defamation league and not protect people who are being defamed when, it's, when, they're, not, when they're not on your side of you the aisle. You understand what defamed means? 
Yes, yes, I understand. It's, you know what defame it, means? It has to imply that it's a lie. Yes, it has to I mean, to imply he's it's not a lie. wrong to write. But what are we referring to when we're saying right, but... if you're gonna I, shit on oh, somebody? I, 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 don't, who is I don't know. Lying. Like, I, like, if you want to talk specifically, right? You want to talk about like the last. Well, president, apparently right? your argument when, is gonna. When, you're just gonna when, back when, off when, into when, having Dooby do your arguments. Why don't we just ask Dooby? When the when the last when the last president ran, right, Donald Trump, right? He said he wanted to build a border wall, right? And people claimed he was racist for that, right? There's no, there's not. No, racist. I think people called him racist because he called all Mexicans rapists. No, he actually he, he didn't. didn't, he didn't and say that's that, actually. yeah, that's and that's why. defamation. That's exact. You you played right into what I'm saying. He never said that. He said some of them are. Yes, some people come here illegally, right? If you oh, cannot so control. Oh, so some of them are. Okay. Yes, of course there are. If there but are, I, I think you're misunderstanding. But, there, but there are some. There are some Americans who are rapists, right? They are always. Yeah, but did he number... say that? Did he say like, oh yes, they are equally as rapists as the Americans? Wait, are. Hold on. I think you guys are misunderstanding, right? So like the the issue was so at the time. Why uh, would he have said it? Bigger, there's Why a big report. It? There's yeah, a big he... report, guys. One second. There, I think you're both missing like context. And so there's like a big report that said like I think over 80 percent of the women uh, coming over the border illegally were being raped by right? coyotes. So, yep. Yeah. Right. So so when he was talking when he was talking about the rapist, about that's, that's what he was talking about. Right. So, like he wasn't saying, oh, mm, all these no? all these Mexicans on the, are all rapists. He was saying when they're coming over illegally, some of the people bringing them over illegally, not some some of the people coming over illegally. You are, rapists. are making because, a because, no, because, again, because because again, because again, up to over 80 percent of the women that are coming over illegally are raped on the way. Right, so like this isn't like yeah by Americans. That... No, no, no. Right. There is that? actually a huge. There is a huge from? issue. Have you not seen the report on like um yeah, like seen tons the of ISIS facilities? Where, where, what do you where mean? Coyotes like, will yes, rape women. Like sexual will assault is a huge in the middle issue. Of the people get taken let's, let's from slow, the border. Let, let's slow it down. Uh, do you Putting know, into ice facilities. Do you know who coyotes? There's rape is incredibly prevalent. Do you know who the coyotes are? Let's let's. I know what coyotes are. Yes. What what are they? Let's pause for a second, guys. Let's pause. They okay. help to traffic. So, uh, so, so, so I'm not denying that ICE facilities have uh, abuse in them, right? Um, uh, well, but I think there's, there is, you know, when somebody's already in an ICE facility, they're not like coming over, right? So the distinction of come while they're coming over, being raped while they're coming over, is probably indicative of like when they're being smuggled into the country, right? Well, it, Can it, I it, also read the Donald it, Trump it, quote? Sure. Go for it. Um. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. All right? They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with, uh, with us, is what they said. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Well, aren't mm -hmm. they, isn't that 100% isn't that true for the coyotes? Coyotes' job is to bring over they're drugs. Saying, no, they're saying when not Mexico about sends they're talking its about people. <laughs> right. Yeah, and Wait, hold on. Yeah. So, so well, well, the question hey, is, you, if you, you want to go on verified. its people, right? You want to get into some matters of its people, right? Well, the problem is, who runs Mexico? It's almost de facto the cartels, right? No, I think you're. I would assume it'd be probably Wait, hold Mexicans. On. So, so that's actually so Mexico sending its people is, I think, a reference to another big story at the time. Oh my which god! Which was that the Mexican government to do the Mexican government and NGOs, right, in in Mexico, uh, on both sides of the border, actually had pamphlets that they they uh, put yeah, out. Both sides of the border given, of Mexico. Yeah, well, the other side is uh, the United Guatemala. States, yeah. Well, but on, there's a lot of well, other countries wait, hold on. that I understand, I understand, Mexico. but there are, there are groups in the United States and in Mexico. Okay. And we're giving people pamphlets that would show watering stations along the way, tell them how to interact with people here to avoid being caught once they got across the border, et cetera, et cetera. Like, so these were like, like pamphlets that would be printed out and given to, to people who are coming over illegally. Right. I so that's, that's kind of what we're referring to. See the relevance. Wait, that, yeah, what does that right, mean? Right. How is that relevant? What are you, what are you so, talking so, about? On. So if the government, right, mm -hmm. and, and this was Mexico's government, if I remember correctly, but also like NGOs, um, is, is printing out pamphlets telling its citizens how to get across the border safely and finding like and where to find watering stations, how to interact with the police so you don't get sent back, et cetera. I think, I think it's fair to say that okay. the, the government itself is, is bare minimum like facilitating, yeah. Yeah, facilitating their, their citizens' illegal movement into our, into our country. Do you uh, have any source for that or what? So I'll, I'll grant it. 
Like I'll I'll entertain the I mean, idea. I, yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, it's just not I'll, even that relevant. Like so. Well, sure. Okay. So I'll so I'll grant it. Yeah, the, there is absolutely some people that got to be caught in that. But I believe probably, if if I had to guess, it would probably be based on the majority of, uh, or sorry, not the majority, the amount of people that die trying to cross the border, which there's a lot of. And so what they're probably trying to do, especially with that watering water situation, I imagine we would agree that. We'd want people to be able to, mm -hmm. you know, have water when they're being able to yeah. do this thing, right? Is they're trying to avoid death or possible, like, uh, conflicting with the, the uh, border patrol or border authorities, which there is an issue of sexual assault, violence, and things like that amongst our border patrol. That is a, it mm -hmm. is a very serious problem. Um, so, really? yeah, I imagine that Mexico is probably like, fuck, we can't stop you from illegally crossing because obviously people are going to do that. So let's figure out ways that will avoid you from dying or possibly getting raped. So if I had to be a human and give them a reason for what they're doing, I think that's a pretty reasonable cause oh. no oh, i mean but couldn't you even make the statement if you want to go so far to claim is that anybody who's violating the like uh immigration laws is not the best right you want oh, no no coming, i i but you, I, but, I but you want you want people coming here who follow the law right and go through like legal proceedings to get here legally right sure, but the things so, are not that simple but, but, but again it's it, it, it depends on how you want to break up that statement right so they're not sending people who are obeying the law and going because there are people who come here from mexico all the time who apply here and become naturalized right like there's a, a load of mexicans and yeah, plenty of other nations so, I don't no, think well, it doesn't take just it doesn't take 20 years. It takes, you know, five to ten. Right. Depending on like the situation. Uh, right. But I'm, the fact uh, the uh, fact can, can I address you that? Because in? you're talking yeah. you're talking about they're not sending their best. I don't think almost any, but that's really anybody's issue with the statement. The statement, the right. issue isn't when Mexico is sending their people, they're not sending their best. It's like they're sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And well, some, I assume, not, not even the statement that it is, some I assume are good people. Like that's that kind of the true. issue. There's a lot of I don't, but, that, but that's all. It depends yeah, how you're right right Oh, God. It, it all that is, all that is reasonable. Okay, it, it, so, so, oh God. No, you go, Doobie. Okay. So, um, I, I just found the pamphlet, by the way, if you guys want to see it. And it, I just yeah, double-checked it. It, it. it was actually pr printed by uh, the, the Mexican government. Right? One of That's their, fine. Their, <laughs> yeah. Send so, it in chat. Yeah, give me, give me one second. But um, to the, I, I don't know how we got on Trump, but this is interesting. So, to the, uh, you know, they're bringing problems, they're bringing crime, et cetera. It's true that there is there's a big issue with Mexican gangs ending up in the United States. A lot of them are illegal immigrants. Like the, the whole MS-13 thing, that wasn't just like a made-up fad, right? Like that that's something that actually exists in the United States. And sure. this is a gang from south of the border. And and a lot uh -huh. of the, the members of that gang in the U.S. are illegal immigrants. right? So I'm, I'm going to blow your mind you right now. Say, there's a oh lot of U.S. citizens that are in MS-13. A gang has nothing to do with Wonderful. their ethnicity. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the issue, I think, that he was pointing to, is that we have foreigners coming into our country. We don't know who any of these people are, right? So, and it's true that a lot of them are bringing up uh, drugs. A lot of them are bringing up drugs as, as part of like the, the way that they're paying for the trip in the first place, right? They're paying the coyotes. So they're, paying, they're bringing drugs that, that hurt our people. They're bringing up, uh, a lot of these people are gang members. That also hurts our people. So all of this is like, he's pointing to a very specific issue. Right, that is a real issue, and I, I don't think it makes any sense to say, well, he just means that all Mexicans are, are rapists or all of them are critical or criminals. To be clear, that's not my point. My, my point directly. is the implication. Like, if you listen to his words, the takeaway is that the majority of the Mexicans that are coming from south of the border are rapist, mm -hmm. drug peddling criminals. When that is statistically not true, even of illegal immigrants, that's not true. That is conclusive. We have the data on that. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. There, there's just no arguing it. So that's I, okay, kind of the that's issue. Little, okay, so I, I want to disagree with you, but, okay, it'd be but it'd be, but it'd be, but it would be, but it would be uh, unfactual. Yeah. Wait, no, what, sorry, what would be the, can, can I hear it, even well, if it so, is a little yeah, bit so, pedantic? So the pedantic thing is like, um, so you're saying that it's, it's like statistical, it's factual, but we really have no idea, right? So there are like, uh, like t tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people coming over the border. Sure. So we're not going to be able to track mm -hmm. all these people or, or know mm -hmm. who they are. Sure. Right? So e even if they were to come up here, and uh, a lot of them for like the first couple of years don't do any crime, right? Or they don't get caught doing any crime. We can't say for sure that they're not up here doing crime. But they're not up here in a gang selling you can, drugs somewhere. You could say that for like literally any citizen. Yeah, you could say that for any survey about crime. Yeah. Though. 
Yeah, that's why I said it would be pedantic. So it's not. not wait, not so then y your issue yeah. wouldn't be with whether or not Mexicans commit. So wait, then you would agree with me that Trump is out of line for saying this because we have no idea if they're coming over the border and committing crime. Because if you can't say that I can't make the claim that they aren't committing as much crime, Trump cannot say that they are committing more. Because by your argument, sure. like we don't even know. There's well, no survey can be trusted. I, I don't think. I don't think he says that they're committing more crime than the average person. It was. It was just that they they are they are committing crime. Some of them are committing the crime when they come up here, and that's true. Yeah, I'm sure some. Some people commit crime. Yeah, yeah. But the, some, the some people coming over, over illegal, coming over illegally are also criminals in other ways, yes. Okay, so let, let's not be obtuse. The implication clearly <laughs> is that the majority of people coming across the border are committing crime, rapists, or uh, uh, drug dealers. That is the implication of that statement in no uncertain terms. Yeah, that, that I would agree with, yeah. Okay. Sure. But and I, then, just, but I just don't think that was applying so, to, so then you would disagree with the like validity of Mexicans. that. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I don't disagree that, like, obviously he says some I assume are good people, and even with the I assume, that's sus as fuck. But, like, even beyond that, like, we're talking about him saying that there, he's talking about some, right? With the implication being that the majority are committing crimes, and your, if your statement is that we can't know how many, then he would be wrong for even saying or implying that a majority are committing crimes, because he doesn't know, according to you. I have to do a quick correction, real quick correction. Go for it. Uh, somebody in chat says, um... Uh, they said that MS-13 started over the border. It started here in California. So. Classic. Is that true? I believe it is true. But I believe yeah. that it was a mixture of immigrants as well as uh, native citizens. But yeah, okay. it says originated in so, Los yeah. Angeles, California. Okay, mm -hmm. but so I know that you're looking at Wikipedia, but if you continue reading it, right, it, it goes into how this gang was started in Los Angeles to protect illegal immigrants. Right, so like, yeah, of course it would. Be. But that doesn't okay. contest the gang, original statement. Area. Yeah, so it's true that it was formed. It was certain Los Angeles, but by illegal immigrants in the in the country. So it was the mob, whoa, 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 like with wait, Italians. Whoa, whoa, like, wait, what do you hold mean? on. No, even no, even no, with no, the statement no, you just no, said, no, it doesn't. That doesn't mean it was started by illegal immigrants. It means it was started to protect illegal immigrants. Tech, right. There are several different organizations in America that were started with the intention of protecting illegal immigrants that were made by homegrown. Native, uh, well, not Native Americans, but homegrown Americans. You know what I'm saying? Well, but I mean, yeah, gangs it, generally are started... not illegal. To to be fair, so it's, it says on the Wikipedia page, it, it was um, set up. It was set up to protect Salvadorian immigrants from other gangs in the Los Angeles area, but it doesn't say illegal. Wait, anywhere. from other gangs? So it was like a classic situation where there was like a group of other gangs that were shitting on another group of immigrants or a mm -hmm. group of people that didn't get along. And so they're like, hey, I don't like being shit on. You don't like being shit on. Let's get together and make it so nobody could shit on us. And then that's what it was. That's a classic situation. Well, right. Gangs, yeah. I mean, like, this is like what the Italians did, or like the uh, the, um, the Irish. Um, yeah, Irish. Irish. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Did the Irish did this? Yeah. yeah everyone every did this type of stuff because that's all they could do. Yep. It's like, like people, you really, people you're really, are I'm sorry. Us. You're really, really quiet. Um, but, oh, oh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, like every single, not every single group. Yeah. I mean, most groups come over and start like clicks and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. But are we going to pretend that most gangs if not every single gang is not a criminal organization that profits no and makes the money to support themselves through yeah but why activities? are they why are they well because when you're trying to sell fucking smack on the streets of los angeles and you're in like somebody else's territory you're gonna need a gang of people who's gonna go and ride with you and, okay but the gang to, to begin with is to protect like it yeah, yeah but the, question is why, of... the question is why is the is are the bloods and the crips going around and just picking on el salvadorian immigrants yes or they're el Sa Liter wait yeah they, a lot of wait a yeah. lot of gangs <laughs> yes a, that's well, how a lot of gangs get started is hey the police will not help our communities because they don't give a fuck about our communities right. We need to police ourselves and be able to protect mm -hmm. ourselves. So we're going to get together and we're going to do it by force. And then, of course, they're going to have to deal in extrajudicial activities to be able to do it. I'm not making excuses. I won't make an excuse for it. But they have to participate in extrajudicial activities in order to make that work. I, like, right. We've so, seen so this. I, this I is as old as time. Hold on. So, so I agree with this. is like mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the pretty like origin story that a lot of gangs have. right? Oh, we just wanted to protect our neighborhood from right. these other bad people. But I, I think that we need to be careful when we're talking about this because um, the, the reality is that MS-13 and tons of other gangs, they don't just do things to, to protect their neighborhood anymore. Right? They, do sex, sure. they do sex trafficking. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they do lots of murders, uh, fucking uh, kidnapping. So like this is so whatever it started out as right now, it is not that. Correct. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm.
Yeah, but I mean, a, a majority of the people coming from Mexico are not going into MS-13. Yeah, well, <laughs> we, and, and MS-13 is a Honduran <laughs> gang mostly, like it's El, not El mostly Mexican, El, El Salvadorian. Uh, yeah, so it's not even just Mexicans. But the thing is, like, it really goes on, like, going back to the statement, it's how you want to, like, delve up. Like, the people who are, like, enabling this, coyotes, a lot of them are, they profit in drugs They're and sex trafficking. The gang? No, the illegal, like, illegal, like illegal, very far illegal, from, illegal immigration, right? Like having permissive illegal immigration, because that's what currently goes on, right? Is our, the current administration is permissive of illegal immigration, right? Like the the previous administration, it was almost the opposite, where he would with Trump was organizing national guard troops to go and stop migrant caravans coming across the border, right? Like come two like day and night comparisons on how they treat illegal immigration, right? When you are permissing illegal immigration, right, and not getting people to come here through legal channels, right, you are how is Joe Biden permissing? What do you mean? The, his 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 stance on like just the way he says that. Uh, oh, like, but he just says things. Yes, the way his stance and his, like, uh, a lot of people believe that the Democrats and those and, like, that side of the aisle is going to do what they did to the Dreamers. So he, and, and once you get in... So he just says things. Even though Kamala Harris is, yes. like, literally said, like, don't come. So what? It's about action, oh, right? Oh, so I like, thought it was about him saying... No, oh, well, no it's well, about no, action? What, what yeah. actions? Wait, I, what action? I mean, there's like where what's currently happening to he will come here illegally, right? They're getting deferred process, tri deferred uh, like trial dates, right? And they're being shipped to cities in the interior, right? So like that's very yeah, different. that's the Republicans doing that. That's not just the Republicans. Uh, that, it's literally okay. I'm sorry. What Democrat has been shipping? Um, ICE. People who have illegally come to ICE. Here? ICE was doing that before Texas. ICE even is doing, doing that, huh? ICE was getting was flying. What are they doing? People. They were chartering airlines and flying that was them Ron DeSantis, dude. No, 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 no. This was happening. Give me Ron one DeSantis. example. I'll look it up right now. One example. There was cases of flights coming in at night. There were flights landing in, in military air bases in Texas, right? They were housing people on military air bases. I don't know the exact name of it, but they're they're. I'll, I'll try to look for it. Are right? you and, looking at QAnon shit? What are no, you talking about? No, this was the news. I Give follow me the news. Example: Texas air base. Okay, I'll look up. What do you want me to look up? Immigrant. What? Um. Or it, specifically it, illegal. Well, let illegal. Try, let, me, let me let me try. Wait, immigrant. Immig Ka 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 Kate and Brick, uh, you Texas. have gone so the rails. What is the what is the, let's say I grant what you're saying. What is the point of what you're talking about? Like, what is the point of the this? The point is be having permissible... Well, I guess we're, we're way off in well, the, the thing is, we need to defamatory speech, right? But the point is this, <laughs> is if you're going to allow and permiss illegal immigration and people coming here through illegal backdoor methods, right? You are giving power to the coyotes, right? You are enabling reasons for gangs like MS-13 to exist, right? Well, we should because just make it legal then. We should, yeah, we should have, we should have, we should allow more people to come here legally, right? And we should encourage everybody to come here legally. That way, exactly people, like that, the way they're supposed no, to have it, to do it, we, because but, of. But, uh, not, but we don't. But we don't have that discussion. It's not about how we reform. We don't have right to now. have a discussion. Like yeah, it's well, literally like a uh, international law to seek asylum. Right, but there's also a difference when, like, there's coyotes, right? What was it, a year ago? There was a story, there was a... Okay, but if you legally right. make it so you can seek asylum, you don't have to go through a coyote. Well, the thing is, it's not just the, it's not just about asylum, right? There are people who come here illegal. I knew some people who would go back to Mexico and come back through coyotes, right? Like, I know illegal Why immigrants, Why would they do right? that? Because they have family in Mexico, and because they're But they're, they're already able... citizens? Oh. Why are they going no, through they, coyotes? I, they, no, they were illegal. I knew people who were illegal, right? They would go back to Mexico. Far into the weeds on this. The fact, the fact oh of God. the matter is, if you are permissing and you are allowing back channel mm -hmm. illegal immigration, right? You are empowering. Let's just legalize it. You, Make it you easier. Are, you are. That's a good discussion. Yeah, we should definitely be making people come here. So you're and pro. You want people to have a easier uh, path to citizenship in the well, United States. Well, on top of this, wrapping it back into the point about like setting rapists and drug dealers, right? If we didn't allow a, and this is hypothetical because it'll never happen, right? If we didn't allow a single person to come here, right, illegally, right, and everybody came through legal channels, no matter how permissible those legal channels were, right, we would okay. see. Oh, uh, you were convicted of a sexual assault one time. Okay, you're not allowed in. Okay, you, uh, you're a known drug dealer. All right, you're not allowed in. And we would then, then you couldn't say that people coming here were rapists or drug dealers, right? Because even if it's a small amount of people, right? 
if there's a small amount of people who are coming here and that we are permissing coming here and we don't know who they are and they harm anybody here, whether it's other illegal immigrants or other citizens or people who are tourists, right? That's a travesty, right? Is in a first world nation, we should be able to control our borders and who comes and goes and know who's doing that. So the question is, how much do you want to like delve up Trump's statement, right? There are people coming here who are drug dealers. There are people who are coming here who are rapists, right? And unless we have a firm grasp on the borders to keep the people who are rapists and drug dealers and murderers out, there are going to be a non There's rapists number. and drug dealers, people that of are course. already here. Right, right. Like, why but, don't we just make it easier for people to come here well, legally, like what well, you're saying? It's not I'm really suggesting that. that. Also, the yeah, people wait, wait, who are on, coming on. here illegally are position? less likely to do that. There's yeah, problems. that is also just, true. Just to, uh, just to kind of, uh, uh, you know, what Irrelevant is, uh, is um, referring to is there was a study that was done that shows that even the the illegal immigrants who, uh, was it illegal or was it just immigrants in general? Illegal it's, immigrants are less likely to commit crimes. I, it's, I'm, than, than the yeah. native population. Than the native population. Exactly. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. prob- I mean, I wouldn't even doubt that, right? But the problem is, if it's a non-zero number, that non-zero number could be prevented by having better, stronger immigration policies. And that's the problem what? that we well, have. I, I would, well, so yeah, you, what you're referring to, Brick, is a trade-off, and that, that is what is happening, right? But that's should the we, way it's supposed to be, right? Legally, well, uh, instead, sh- instead sure, of being legally, permissible, yeah, of, sure. instead of being permissible legally. of illegal immigration with hopes to fix the problem make it legal. in five make it years, easier. we should be having legislative talks about Okay, maybe our immigration policy is refo- is antiquated, and maybe there's a ton of people who we need their labor, okay. right? And they want to come here anyway. Those are the mm-hmm. conversations we should be having, right? Not conversations about where we bus people who are not here legally and ha- when they're going to get a deferred trial for asylum, right? Like, the thing is, we should say, all right, well, if you come here, we should— our system should work well enough that if you need asylum, that should be taken care of, right? We should be able to t- take care of those cases. We sh- if we don't have enough judges, we should b- have more judges so there isn't such a, such a backlog. Because if people are seeking asylum, that's usually a very serious thing, right? That means they're being persecuted or their life is in danger for some reason. Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure that we could treat the people who come here seeking asylum correctly, right? They're all humans. Everybody's a human with dignity. And when you allow people, right— to come here through back channels because you're permissible of that instead of doing the right thing and the hard thing of having the conversation about, hey, there are more people coming here than our legal immigration system currently allows, and we need more of them, and we need people to come here, and we want more people to come here. Instead of this, like, situation where... Again, the last guy was very tough on it and very proud on it, right, of, of his stance. You could say whether you like it or not, right? And you could say that it was too draconian and what he was doing was militarizing the border and he was making a show of it, which I agree 100%. But this immig- – this, 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 uh, the policy that the liberals kind of take is that instead of having the conversation about how we change our policy that we don't have you know, millions of people coming here illegally – We should say everybody has dignity. We shouldn't have people coming here illegally. And on top of that, if we made sure people didn't come here illegally. You are ranting quite a bit here, brother. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. You're you're, you're kind of doing a circle here a little bit. Because if you're talking about illegally, the idea that you're saying like liberals want is like what it's easy. You agree that you think it should be easier to be a legal citizen, correct? I, that's a dis- yeah, that's a debate that we could, should have, and I think it, if Do, possible, What yeah. is your position? We don't have to have a debate. I'm asking your position. My position is the, the problem with immigration is it drives down the labor market, right? So if a lot of people— that's, Okay. Well, Man, well, I, a well, political not, uh, answer. <laughs> we, need, no, no, we, need, we need immigrants, okay? It doesn't have, matter whether they're legal or illegal or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Like, so right. can you answer me? Do you think it should be easier for people to legally immigrate to the United States? I think, uh, yeah, I think our our current immigration system probably could be updated mm-hmm. because it, there are. Do, no, 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 no. Uh, I asked you no, a very specific it, question. It, it, Do you think it should the, be the, easier the, to the, legally the, immigrate the, to the United the, States? The, the, Can you please answer that question? Yeah, yeah. Yes, let's, but let's, to let's, but to, but to a certain number, right? There's gonna be a point where you we say you like, said yes. Yes, but to a certain number, to right? A certain num- what number? And that goes on economics, right? 
Because the problem well, no, is, no, no. Is, you said a certain number. I think everyone should be, have an well, easier he, way to he, What he's trying to that. say is he would have to it's have not somebody yes more educated no. than himself look well, at the numbers. No, not, not, yeah. not, even, not even more educated. There, oh, well, well then if the, you don't need, need to be more educated, then just tell me what the number is. Well, you need to look at the Yeah, tell me the number. Well, I mean, unemployment is, what's the unemployment sitting at right now, right? You think it needs to be correlated with? What, 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 no, what, 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 what's housing? I love you, man. What, 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 what are housing prices at, right? You are ridiculous. We're we're having an issue now where housing is I don't know, one or two? That's what the house is? One or two? Maybe three? What is I'm saying it's a complex issue, and a yes or no answer is not, is just not it. Like, you need to look at all the factors, and you need to weigh the pros okay, and cons but, uh, you of more asked, cheap labor. You said a number. You, how can you say there's a number if you can't give me the number? Then why does it have to be a number? Okay. How did we uh, get here an, from the Enough. If I can. If I can. Are you still um, uh, so basically, he's saying that, yes, he does mm -hmm. for a limited amount of people. He doesn't know what that limited amount is. Um... Uh, because yes. he doesn't know. He all doesn't of the have all the numbers, around. correct? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, when I was trying to throw him that bow, and he was like, "No, I, I have, I have all the numbers. I am yes. supremely educated. No, it's, it's you. You need somebody um, else to be able to look at the numbers. That's fine, and we don't need to press him on that. That's okay. Well, and it's and it's not just that one person looks at it. It's a discussion. Our country is meant to be a discussion of like pros and cons. So it's not as simple as yes or no. It's not as simple as just like such a liberal right now. He's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite. Actually, talks about real politics and stuff like that. Knows what he's talking about. Perfect topic for someone. This is a perfect topic for someone like him. We can kind of direct it a little bit back more towards the ADL. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt because it was like nice and spicy, but yeah. I'll be I'll be right back actually. Okay. Okay. So I actually am going to go right back right back to the ADL. So if we're going to talk about like pros and cons, like what are the pros and cons of having um, a Jewish supremacist lobby group, having such a large like uh, voice uh, in social media shit, i.e. I, uh, after Elon Musk took over Twitter, um, now Jonathan Greenblatt had multiple meetings with him where they talked about the future of Twitter. And afterwards, right, uh, the ADL has one of the biggest like uh, groups pushing advertisers away from the, pl the platform, claiming there's, it's like full of anti-Semitism full of, of hatred and extremism, etc. Right, going on CNN to talk about how, how he, uh, Elon Musk is doing a terrible job and how the platform needs more moderation, etc. They, they, they are pushing to censor um, speech that they dislike. And if you look at Jonathan Greenblatt and the ADL's history of you know, the, the sorts of things that they call anti-Semitism, they're, they're extremely loose with the way that they use that language. Right, so in, in our country, um, being called an anti-Semite, being compared to a Nazi, is like among the, the most like socially uh, uh, damning things that could happen to you. Nobody wants to be associated with that in our country, right? unless you're like some, some lunatic like Dick Fontes or some shit. So can so, I? So oh, them, sorry. Well, I was just, just so, so them yeah. so them having the the ability right being looked to as authority on on that word, and then throwing it around uh, as flimsy as fucking possible to their political opponents. I think just I, I think they actually contribute to, to the increase in, anti, in, in real anti-Semitism because it ends up uh, feeding the, the old meme where like, hey, if you want to know who your masters are, look at the people you can't criticize. So any criticism of the ADL of Israel and its ethno state policies gets turned into, oh, you're just an anti-Semite, you're just a Nazi, right? And this this actually fuels the the conspiracies about Jews and about uh, and about, about like uh, uh, their, their like control over our country. You just yeah. literally made an argument because people get mad at you for being anti-Semitic. I'm not saying you as an individual. I'm not saying you are. Um, but you just made the argument that, oh, if somebody gets mad at you because you're being anti-Semitic, then that means that they actually do have the power. Like, that they can't say anything. Like, that is such a ridiculous argument. Well, that's good. Uh, that's not the argument I made. Well, I think they're referring to when you spoke about look to if you want to see who's in charge, look to who you can't criticize. I believe is the point that they were trying yeah, to make. Yeah, and that's yeah, I'm and so and so it, it, I would say that's completely dependent on the context. Like, there's certain contexts where that's obviously undeniably true. Let's talk about the you know uh, the USSR, right? Like where that was obviously true. Like who can't you criticize? Like obviously these are the people in power. But there's also different situations where that isn't necessarily the case. But that's not something I want to touch. What I want to touch right now is what you were talking about a little bit earlier where the ADL is claiming that after Elon Musk took over Twitter, there was a rise in anti-Semitism and the way that they categorize anti-Semitism is a bit touch and go. I haven't seen 
the exact description, and maybe I would agree with you. But I don't think, can anybody here deny the fact that absolutely there was a rise in anti-Semitism since Elon Musk took over Twitter? That is objectively true, even by like the strictest definition of anti-Semitism? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, if, if I can, yeah. um, I will say that, you know, I recently tweeted out that, you know, I don't understand anti-Semitism, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jewish people created bagels, you know, I love bagels, right? <laughs> um, as a, you know, kind of like a joke, but like, you know, no, no like, I don't, I don't think any Jewish person took it uh, offensively. I think everybody thought it was funny. Um, but that triggered all of the Nazis on, and anybody, oh. not even Nazis, anybody. The blue checks, no. No, no. Anybody who goes on Twitter, logs onto Twitter and searches the word Jewish, that it's like all those people, like all of a sudden, like uh, saw my tweet and they were all super, super mad at me. And they're like, how can bagels make up for this and this and this and then all sorts of crazy stuff. So um, so I won't even repeat on stream, honestly, because it's just so bad. But yeah. I will, I will I mean, say now, now you're baiting the Christians like, did the worst it. stuff. So I don't understand why people would blame the Jews when the Christians are the biggest pieces of shit, in my personal opinion. Okay, well, here's, here's the issue. So you have no issue saying that, right? <laughs> Criticizing Christianity. Tons of people criticize Islam, though I think on the left, like people are kind of hesitant to do that for some reason. Well, I'm, I'm, I know why. It's because they don't want to seem racist, right? And, and sure. Muslims tend to be brown. So, you know, that's linked to racism for some sure. reason. I'll criticize but them too. You're going to find that many people on the left and right are going to be extremely hesitant to criticize Judaism. Right, like the and that religion has just as much crazy shit in it as Christianity and Islam. Right? Hey, pro there, are parts, there are parts of there are parts of Judaism where they I compare non-Jews to jo to dogs. Right, where no, they, I think there's a difference between oh, wait, between hold on. criticism. Uh, well, I guess then we have to. Yeah, hold on. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna provide criticism right, right now. Well, there, there are parts can. of Judaism where they they literally compare non-Jews to dogs. Right, where they say it'd be better to kill a dog than to kill like a a, a non-Jew. I'm sorry, to kill a non-Jew than it would be to kill a dog. <laughs> They say that there's no, there's no like, uh, there's if you were to, if a Jewish person were to kill a non-Jew, there's no legal consequence, right? They, they where is that? Constantly, hold on, I, you want me to pull it up for you? So he, no, here's what I'm going to ask you. So if I pull this out for you, if I, if I pull this out for you, no, keep going. Right? I'll, I'll look it up. How is this going to affect your thinking? What will this influence? I'm just curious. I'm just kind of okay, interested. Well, do some googling. Well, so. So hold on. So so um, to be clear, I'm not saying that all Jews today think this way. I'm not saying that religious Jews think this way. What I'm saying is that. A lot of people are going to be feel are going to feel like extremely hesitant to to uh, criticize that that religion at all, because as soon as you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to have tons of people calling you an anti semite, comparing you to Nazis, well, right? Well, so I like think, I, I think that's the that's the issue, right? Think, with with, go for it. I think the bigger thing isn't even the fact that like if you like because there is just like blatant you know there's criticism of the re religion right there's anti semitism right but like look what what's uh, the lady from the squad Elon Omar right when she criticizes the Israeli state right which look uh, unless you're like have your head buried in the sand Israel's relationship to Palestine isn't kosher you know. So you look at that and you say, well, when I criticize the Israeli state, right, which is the a, a Jewish ethno state, right? If I criticize that, I'm labeled an anti-Semite, but oh, yeah, by right wingers. No, you're well by both sides of the aisle. I oh, mean, the, stop. The, 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 you think the, left wingers like are supportive of they're, they're, like well, the Jewish well, there's two, state? There's two, there's two, there's two, there's stop. two it's an ethno two, state. Well, there's two types of left wingers, right? You have like the the yeah, there's some yeah. idiots, and then there's people who actually have like reasonable points of view. Like, well, like no, yeah, the, sure, you can for anybody. The problem is the idiots are already <laughs> okay. bought and paid for, and they're in Congress, right? Like that's oh, I'm very bought and okay. paid for apparently. No, no, not no, yeah, not you. But I mean, like um, Nancy Pelosi and people who are like lockstep yeah, sure, political that's, that's types, fine. right? Yeah. They're the ones sure. who say Israel sure. is our greatest sure, ally. But, anybody like, that's who not... criticizes that, she wouldn't stand behind what Ilan Omar said. Right, she distanced thought, herself from that. Yeah, I she's a weak bitch. For, I thought you were talking about primarily like online stuff. I think for the most part, a lot of people online who are on the left are fairly critical yeah, of Israel. Yeah. But if you're talking about like your ass meets grass, you're like normal people that right. you walk around, whatever. Yeah, a lot of them are going to be like, "You said that about Israel." Ooh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it was, well, it was, I mean, was, in, was, in our in the Republican debates, right there, like one of the big talking points was how much they support Israel. Yeah. Like, so, so like, and that's, that's that happens on both sides, right? Like, oh, who supports Israel the most? Who's visited Israel the most? Like, I, I think that kind of influence is like it's not something that should be just ignored, 
right? It's clear that there is an uh, there is an inf influence there. There is in, there is influence in Jewish lobby oh. groups. And they had to say it. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah so, so yeah, just pretend it state. doesn't exist. To pretend that it doesn't exist is, I think, part of the issue. It's part of the the reason uh, people get attracted. I, I don't think to anyone's pretending it doesn't friends. exist. I just you think were, I, you we were, were earlier you no, said we that ADO has no influence, or I'm sorry, no power, which is ridiculous. Yeah, they don't. Okay. That they have influence. What power? Like, what are you talking about? Okay, so I don't really feel like that discredits my argument by any means. Well, the, either they have power, it's either they have power or they don't, and then we could argue about how much power. You could say that their power is not as much as the president, right? But you could say like their power is a sure. lot more than you know me. Can you give me an example of their power doing something like meaningful. Well, defaming people, right? If somebody goes and criticizes... Oh, defaming people! I can defame right. you well, all let, let, let me, day. Let me, like, what let do me, you mean? Let, let, look, when go you ahead. go and criticize go our relationship to Israel, right, and what Israel does, right, and how, like, the Israeli Political Action Committee, right, is, mm -hmm. is uh, problematic, right, because we probably shouldn't have foreign states in our politics, right? But if you criticize that there are foreign states, right, and there are foreign people who are trying to influence American politics, they right... They criticize people. Yeah, if you that's if their you power, call, they you, criticize it, people. But it's but it's not like a light thing. Like if I say, if you say to me, well, your your beard looks stupid, right? That's a light thing, right? If so you're, you're running, you're, you're if you're running for if you're running for office, and somebody calls you an anti-Semite, that's a death knell to a lot of people, right? Because uh, if, because if somebody he, calls you something. Well, well hold because on. So, it, it's so perception. Here, can, it's all yeah, perception. Like yeah, that's let, the right. So it's all just so you're you're gonna compare. To somebody who has political power to to actually do something, like you're gonna say that that's the same level well, or what? So like politicians okay. have okay, less okay, power wait, than I'm the lobby give, groups. I want to give yeah, a relevant a chance to get in here. Okay, because yeah, because I, I feel like I can bridge this over a little bit. So. You recognize that there is an issue like we, we've already kind of established that there's a lot of people in mainstream politics or whatever that uh, put up a very pro-Israel like face, right? We, we can can we all agree with this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So yeah. if that is established, then claims, especially by a group that might be respected to be able to be seen as like uh, pro-Israel claims that you are anti-semitic are obviously going to have a negative effect on your political effectiveness or your political uh you know aspirations uh, yeah yeah stuff yeah. like that that is obviously going to be the case do you disagree with that uh wait i'm sorry i forgot your name i literally can't pull up your name me yes I'm you nina. nina okay sorry i'm bad. sorry can you re um yeah I'll, I'll reiterate it so do you agree with the idea that Republicans, um, a lot of Republicans, uh, platform off of a pro-Israel stance, correct? Absolutely. Do you agree with that as well as Democrats? I don't really feel like I see the same level of that. I'm sure that, like, the establishment Democrats probably do it. Um, but okay. I, sure. I'll just, uh, for the sake of uh, whatever, I'll agree with you, sure. All right, cash money. So if that is the case, then the claims of that you, you being whatever political entity you are, like political mm -hmm. person you are, you are mm -hmm. anti-Semitic from mm -hmm. a group that is pretty, like, done a pretty good job of labeling themselves as like a... Um, well, as the Anti-Defamation League, as a group that is like somewhat unbiased or somewhat uh, um, after the interests of uh, marginalized people, that being claimed that you are anti-Semitic can be rather detrimental towards your political career, can it not? Sure. Okay, I think that's what Brick's point is, is it not? Yeah, that, that's pretty much my entire point. Is okay. there's, when it comes to politics, right, like, yeah, if you really are on board and you know the guy or the girl or whoever you are supporting, right, you may know that, hey, whatever this group is coming out and saying about them, it's not true. They're just critical of the Israeli state, but they, they're not anti-Semitic in any way, shape, or form. But if you're the, you know, the average voter, right, a large portion of the voting base is low-information voters who go and tune into the news every once in a while and get their news from, you know, major sources, right? When those, which were like Twitter, right, before it was X, right? When those major sources are, you know, give accreditation to the ADL, right, which has a lot of historical clout, right, and you're a low information voter, and this group is, you know, the fact checker or the, or, or is some authority on speech, right, they, and they say that this person is anti-Semitic, it's going to affect a lot of those low information voters. 
Okay, okay. so so this is going to be generally, a little... I feel like they do do good work. Like, I don't think they have any political power outside of, like, what you're referencing. Sure. Like, I'm not going to disagree with you on this. Like, obviously, I agree with that sentiment. But, like, you pick... really think, like, they're, like, the same level of power where we're talking about, like, legislators? <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell you, they're more powerful than legislators, right? Because they get well, to yeah, pick... They, they, get to, they, get to pick they, get, they get to pick who is the legislator. What? Right? Wait, you think the ADL is sponsoring every that... single political, like everybody who wins no, an election? No, no, I'm no, I'm not saying that they're they sponsor every they're single a person. Watchdog if, group. You, if you have the power to influence an election, right? If you have the power to sway political vote and choose if a person everybody is going to everybody has be... the power to do that. You should just like no, oh, but you're, your but friends, you the power to influence people. Uh, sure, unless, that's unless you're ridiculous stardust, to have unless, this complaint. Uh, Unless you're Stardust, we don't have that much power to influence people. But if you're the ADL, right? Oh, what are you there's sending a, for her? Because like I was. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> no, she's the host. Her. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> True. Come on. Also, you True. don't have any values. You're, 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 no, you know. no. And on top of that, well, we're on her show, right? So she does have more power than us, right? <laughs> hey, I can no, sim harder than you can, question, bitch. Okay, I'm just saying. Oh my people, God. A lot of Indian origin people in, in the position of CEOs of countries. I'm just saying, you know, whoa, there might whoa, be some wouldn't, wouldn't, well, wouldn't that be diversity. IQ? Wouldn't that be yeah, IQ? Though? The IQ, yeah. No, but we care about diversity, <laughs> right? We need to have uh, what? What are those? What, what the the thing for the stock market? Um, I don't know. White boy, what is it? <laughs> Jesus. The, 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 <laughs> what? Bold of you to assume I'm white. I'm Italian. Uh, <laughs> You're re- <laughs> <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> The whatever BlackRock and uh, they're, they're pushing um, the, the diversity like agenda. Uh, what is what is it called? You guys know somebody knows what I'm talking about. There's points that like no, uh, I'm, I'm gonna let you struggle. I'm, draw, I'm drawing a blank. I, yeah, thank you. Can I? Um, <laughs> so start us for I mean, if you guys haven't noticed, start us and I were talking a little bit in the group chat, right, about some of the claims that these people are making in response to a post. And oh, I think and I think and I think it's interesting that like, so start us. I think that the, that person is doing something that um. Basically, they have like parts of the information, but not all of it, which is really common when people just don't know or talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, they end up they end up getting their their information from like radical sources, right? So he might be getting his information from Nick Fuentes, who's going to tell him that all Jews are pedophiles, whatever the fuck. ESG but the source, scores. But the but the source of of that claim actually also comes from like the Talmud, right? Which allows for Jewish men to to marry and have sex with three year olds, right? Uh, like three year old girls. It's totally they're not permissible. Doing that. I, hold on, I understand, <laughs> but right. So I think the the issue is that uh, Islam has similar shit, Christianity has similar shit, but we're able to criticize all of that, right? People are, are totally free to shit on Christianity and Islam all day, right? But but with Judaism, if you would have like a similar conversation about all the problematic shit within the, like the Talmud or any of the other texts, you're immediately going to be labeled an anti semite. Well, so right? that's which is not true. That, that, that's not true. That's one hundred percent true. No, it isn't. Not if well, you come at it in the right way. I yeah. mean, there are a lot of people that go at it in a really harsh way. Where? Who? who yeah. Who Wait. Has? Do you think? Do you think that you're labeled an anti semite for some of your criticism Absolutely. that you made? No, no, no. Right now, do you think that there's anybody in the audience that thinks you're anti semite? Yeah, absolutely. As a result I just of... met the guy. I think he's an anti semite. Yeah. What are you talking about? Base take. But <laughs> you like, just, just like scroll through, scroll through chat. Okay, I'm, I'm sure. I, I actually have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe in Stardust chat, maybe, but definitely not in mine. But, like, but, but I think I think all it is is that people just aren't used to hearing the criticism. So they assume anybody making the criticism is an anti-Semite. Sure. Never so then, the, so yeah, I mean, I haven't had that problem either. I criticize every single religion for the same reasons as given, and I haven't been claimed as anti-Semitic. Maybe it's a brown privilege or whatever. They're like, ah, he can get away with it. But I don't know. <laughs> like, who knows? It must It must be a brown privilege. Yeah, well, maybe. Here's, yeah, I, maybe. here's the thing about, <laughs> is, is about uh, like Judaism. It's not just a religion, right? It's a it's an ethnic group, right, who has their own nation with their own, like, religious ethnostate, right? Yeah. Like, it's not just, like... Like, hey, you know, there's Ethiopian Christians, there are Christians in Taiwan, there's Christians, you know, it, the Spanish did their job and they converted well, a whole bunch of people totally so they wanted to into uh, to Christianity. I wanted right? to kind of usher this back towards the original point, like the very, very start of this topic, which was the, the, the issue that I had where I brought it to the floor, which is that anti-Semitism was massively on the rise on Twitter after Elon Musk took over because of his, you know, releasing well, a little bit of the, well, yeah, we, it was, yeah, it was understandable. But obviously that there's going to be uh, issues where in which with the levels of anti-Semitism and how uh, anti-Semitism manifests in 
our lives, there's obviously going to be a conflation of people criticizing Judaism with anti-Semitism. Because a lot of the, the uh, anti-Semitic uh, comments and things like that are underpinned with like very real like acts of violence against Jews. And now that isn't the case as much with Christianity. It's a little more the case with like Islam and stuff. But and, and that's why you see, like Doobie pointed out, there is a lot of people on the left who are afraid of criti criticizing Islam. I feel like that's kind of lessening up a little bit more now. But there is that kind of thing, which is the idea that it's, it's very real that people who criticize these groups might not be like joking or lighthearted in any way. They might be like, yeah, I actually hate these people. So I think that's kind of part of the reason why. Well, no? well, well, yeah, I mean, you're totally right. But and we you kind of agree on this thing is like when the previous um, uh, like method that Twitter went around about um, like policing speech and stuff with that was very strict. Right. So as soon as you like loosen the floodgates, right, you are going to get people who one are shit posters, right? You get of course. people who are not are now criticizing legitimate claims about either the religion or the state, right? And then you're gonna get the third category, which is people who are just like legitimately anti Semitic, right? Well and but it's they, also hard they, to tell the difference. Well it really it is. Can be. Yeah, it, it is can hard be. to tell. Yeah, it can be because it's it's when you're criticizing, you know, the religion for this and you're criticizing the state for that, right? how do you draw the line between this person hates these people for who they are and that he hates these people for what they do, right? Yeah, and that, so now we need to, now we have a responsibility to look at certain organizations like the ADL and be able to look at their misfires where they're like, you're anti-Semitic, you know, you're anti-Semitic, and seeing where maybe they make a slip and how reasonable is it that they maybe just made a mistake or all like even the individual All organizations people. make huge mistakes like that. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. regardless of who runs them. That's, and, that's, you know. And to double down on that, because we talked a lot about the ADL's influence on politics and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I, I personally haven't seen a crazy amount of uh, evidence that it's anything unique to like BLM, where there's, there's just a bunch of political uh, people who have interests who are like, I love black people more than you do. So vote and, for and me. And it's not supposed to, yeah. it's not supposed to be political either, but yeah. you can't keep po politics out of organizations and you never will. Right. Exactly that. And it's also well, like these well, people don't well, generally, like when they campaign off of these things, they don't, it doesn't actually manifest in any policy changes it's just that way they can get their cloud up for a a, a problem that is like hot in the moment and so they're they're doing that and so i haven't seen any evidence to the i i, I think that uh, hold on. i think that ahead, jewish please. lobby groups like uh like the adl like apac have far more influence in blm like uh, like a massively outsized influence i mean like uh, you have a i don't know if you guys know what apac is yeah. but um like uh, american politicians the, the go italian there italian american political a political action committee right Ita that's no, not not no. Um, but uh, my people are don't have any representation anymore. It's terrible. Yeah, the Italians terrible, famously. Yeah. You know, it's the um, fuck. You just, uh, American <laughs> Israel Public Affairs something. Public, public committee. Or something, right? So like, <laughs> yeah. So and and they write policy, right? That that is gets put on on the floor of our, our Congress and, and gets voted on by our politicians because our politicians send their 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 staffers there. They go there themselves, give speeches, and this is pretty blatantly like a like a pro-Israel group in the U.S. Right? And it, yeah, it's a lobby group. I'm I'm not saying lobby groups can exist, but to to downplay the, the amount of influence they have over our country, I, I think is actually damaging. Uh, I think that if you want to kill the uh, you know, Jews in a secret room, you know, in a smoke filled room, making making the rules for everybody, I think you just need to be able to like admit like, yeah, there are lobby groups out there. Some of them have a lot of influence and this is one of them. I, I, I'd compare them to the I'd compare them to the evangelicals. So right? yeah, the, the evangelical I, I, wanted, I wanted to wait my turn. The idea that this group has as more influence than like BLM is wild, considering it was the like largest riots and protests in American history. Like the, mm -hmm. the idea that a group that was helping to uh, orchestrate some of the largest protests in the history of the United States, it has like less power than uh, a group that, uh, to be fair, you know this more about this group than billions of dollars than, uh, in funding for Israel every year. But so does it be. Wait, wait you don't think what happened to Israel is, dude? Hey, hey, no, hey, no, 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 wait, hold sorry. on. Just to be clear, I, I just though, that... just, just a second, oh, just a second. Sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, Fanatic is here. I wanted to give Fanatic a chance to Hello. introduce himself. 
Yeah. Also, I wanted to say I'm, I am going to be opening up the panel um, uh, in like about like uh, five to ten minutes. Um, so if uh, anybody here wants to go, feel free. I don't want to. I don't want to keep you too long. But um, there are going to be people coming in as well. Um, uh, so, uh, fanatic, why don't you give your your thoughts here? Really, just to even address what was just recently said, I don't think that we can look at all the riots that happened in the wake of the George Floyd murder as influence of BLM, the organization. Obviously, Black Lives Matter had been trending during that time, as had been trending for a whole bunch of time, but it's a hyper-decentralized movement. It was literally during the coronavirus, and people were literally at their homes, didn't have things that they had to do, so there were a lot more people who had the ability to protest. Obviously, we don't think that BLM had the influence over the, the riots that were happening in Japan. It was just in a way that happened at a point where everybody was really focused during a specific time on specific issues, spe specifically police brutality. But that wasn't a BLM influence thing. I mean, because again, m if you ask 99% of people who were protesting at BLM, did they know about a single chapter? Absolutely not. Did they know about the official organization? Absolutely not. There was a movement that was distinct from the organization, which I think was a grifting organization. And I think that we can't sit there and say that oh, BLM. I, I, I agree it was a grifting organization, but they absolutely started and organized the initial of these protests. Now, a lot of they people, uh, there was plenty of them that were organized by BLM. The vast majority of them, as I've said. Yeah, the vast said, majority of them were not organized by BLM. I recognize that, yeah. Right. So, so then if you're trying to make the statement that though they, they had this power because they orchestrated or they started the largest protests, when we can see that the vast, vast, hyper-majority of these protests were not started by them, and we can also see that, again, the hyper-majority of all of the people who were protesting were not in any way, sh shape, or form associated with the BLM chapter or associated with any of the leadership within BLM, and we find that it was an incredibly decentralized movement that was more so found from social media and Twitter than it was from some central organization than to try to associate the protests with the power of BLM when we know that the vast majority so of the protesters and the or, and, and the individual protests themselves were not started by or associated with the BLM organization. Okay, Sounds and unfair. neither are the majority Whoa, of the right. individuals that go online on Twitter and call other people anti-Semitic as a result of the ADL statements. The reason why I brought that up is because there is is a correlation with how the, a group will make a certain statement and then other people will fall behind it and then support that statement. So if we're just talking about just what exclusively the ADL is talking about, they actually don't hold very much influence. It's the reason why they hold influence is because people people believe what they say. And the same thing goes with BLM. There is, unfortunately, a lot of people who got behind that movement, I agree with you, it was grifting. The, the, the actual organization itself was like grifting. And, and right. there was a lot of confusion as to what we wanted with a lot of uh, you know, House Democrat people not understanding, like, why the fuck are we advocating for this? Why the fuck are we advocating for that? What do you want? And, and shit like that. And there was a lot of issues with it, right? In the ADL's case, there's you know, people saying, oh yeah, this person anti-Semitic and a lot of people are going well the ADL said it so like fuck fuck this dude and shit like that so that's but what yeah, I'm referring I, to. I think even that, you, we could say that there's a significantly different, a significant difference in power. It's almost never, ever, can, have we seen like the BLM come together and say, this is our view of this person, and then as a result of that sort of thing, that they were like kind of seen as the authority on whatever the issue is. For example, if we look at like Ahmaud Arbery's killing, right? BLM, there was like so all sorts of Black Lives Matter things and things like that. But again, this had nothing to do with the organization and everything to do with the hashtag. Because again, no one was citing BLM as like, hey, we got to talk to BLM to figure out, or or anytime someone's been accused of any sort of racism or something like that or been canceled over racism, there's never been a call like, you need to go talk to BLM to get to the bottom of this. However, to the contrary, when we had cases like, um, you know, Kyrie Irving making his statements, and they specifically said, you need to go ahead and talk to B, um, to ADL to go ahead and deal with this. When it came to Jamie Foxx's recent recent unfounded canceling over his making him making of a statement of a basic black locution, and they called him anti-Semitic. See, I see you're making that face, Nina. You don't know about it. Yeah, they were calling Jamie Foxx anti-Semitic because Jamie Foxx made the statement, if they killed Jesus, then they would easily kill you. And then put hashtag fake friends because obviously, you know, his recent health scare happened from like what he felt was a betrayal of some of his fake friends. The Jewish people were saying, oh, this must be an anti-Semitic trope. He's talking about Jews. He's like, this has nothing to do with Jews. We've said this in a black church forever. If they kill, if they kill Jesus, you know, if, if they lied on Jesus, you know they'll lie on you. It had nothing to do with Jews. It has just something to do with people and their evilness, whatever. 
he was labeled anti-Semitic. And what? where did this anti-Semitic label come from? Specifically from the ADL. They do have significant influence in the sense of, uh, in the sense of Hollywood, in, in the sense of just the, the, the areas where they're influential. Socially, they are incredibly influential. Whereas BLM, the organization, never had any social power whatsoever. No one, no, tell me, name a time where someone ever cited the actual organization as being responsible or the authority or arbiter on any of these social issues. We don't. It's been there. It's been a very, very like Twitter, social media based organization, whereas the ADL is an actual organization which is viewed as the arbiter of what's anti-Semitic and so on and so forth. The only That's difference, the difference that you're the only difference that you're drumming up is that one is centralized versus one is decentralized. We already no, agreed on the we already no. agreed on the idea that BLM is like, or at least the organization itself had a bunch of grifters in it. If we if they had no power, no influence, no sway, if nobody donated any money, which you know they donated a fuck ton, then why the hell would we care? The reason why we care is because clearly there was enough people to care about it for them to get millions and millions of dollars. But I guess nobody cared about the organization, even yeah, though it literally scammed no, people out of millions. No, so you're, what, you're, I think you're missing this. this you're geez. talking about the movement of BLM, right? The no, I'm literally the talking about the no, scammers no. and grifters in the organization no, yeah, yeah. also they, they grift, scammed they, people they, out of millions. They grift, yeah, you're right. They grifted off of what fan, uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Fanatic. Fanatic. What, Fanatic. what Fanatic is saying is the movement of BLM was incredibly powerful. And yes, there ended up being an organization that was attached to it that was a grifting movement, right? Not, not even a grifting movement. They were a grifting organization that did some level of community organization, right? But at the end of the day, they weren't authoritative on anything, right? What Fanatic is saying is that the difference is BLM was powerful as a movement, not as an organization, versus the ADL, right? They are powerful. There's no anti-defamation movement in the country where everybody's getting behind it, right? In fact, we're talking about the opposite. We're talking about canceling the ADL. The ADL is an arbiter of power, like you said. So there's a huge difference between a movement that happened off of people's uh, reaction to a very serious situation, right? Versus an organization that goes around and is an authoritative power on speech. The there's primary a, difference there is the hey, centralization. <laughs> And okay, then, so oh, that's the main difference. Really quick, you can say that the you can say that maybe that the difference in cause of the power is in decentralization, but in reality, the effectiveness of this is wide, right? Because I mean, like if you look at it, yes, you had a whole bunch of people like citing the money that 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 um, that BLM ended up making. I don't think that that's also a representation of the power or people's respect for the organization, because what ended up happening was you did have again some of the most worldwide protests that have ever happened in the history of the country for sure. Sure. Again, when you got Utah rallying against their police officers with their like 98% white protests, it sounds crazy, right? So then everyone was doing this. We saw the same thing in, in various European countries. We saw it in Asian countries. We saw it around the world. We were also in the middle of a pandemic and people had all the time in their hands and people were fervent and just needing to get out of the house and so on and so forth. Now, when you have that type of fervency, then you, you, you're, the, um, you're the organization that happens to have the name that is the exact same as the protest, then at that point people are just looking like how do I support people are becoming awake to how atrocious this thing is considering the atrocity of the George Floyd situation so because of that people are like oh man I need to I want to support how do I support you had all those white people doing literal and I mean literal boot licking and all that kind of nonsense people were just mm -hmm. anxious to support in some sort some form or fashion and so those people needed somewhere to put their money and of course BLM is like hey hey We'll go ahead, donate to us. We'll help with these black causes. Of course, really, all the money just went to random Democrat, Democrat politicians. None of it went to actually any grassroots, any movements or anything like that. But the fact of the matter was people were just looking for a place to put their money, given the, the fervency and given like what they were feeling. It had nothing to do with, again, the power of the organization. They just happened to be a name that were a grifter during that time and happened to be able to absorb all of that energy into financial capital. But like, do they actually have any sway? Was there ever any like serious meetings between BLM, the organization, and any serious politicians or any other serious power? No, that's just not, they don't have the same kind of power. And you can say, oh, it's because they're decentralized, and sure, maybe that's it. But at the end of the yes. day, they do not have that power, they did not have the influence, and so if decentralization is the, the, the cop-out you want to use, I'm down, I'm down for that. Just change it. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that the ADL 
does have power, does have influence, is authority, does have sway, whereas BLM well, this, has this none. Was, this was the biggest criticism of BLM was that they weren't centralized, so they weren't able to get as effective political change when it comes to like office and officials and stuff like that. But they were very effective at being able to make social change. Social change, and, and I would say really weird, bizarre, like bullshit. It was a lot of confusion. You had political, you had politicians talking about these weird guidelines that people were taking as a result of like going to these bizarre websites that look like you get a fucking virus from them that were sponsored. Like these, this was the, this is the difference between centralized versus decentralized. You can almost never affect political change. Like you can't, like, I agree that the ADL has, you can almost never do that if you are decentralized because you need a face or a head of the movement to be able to say, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. This is who, who the enemy is. That is who the enemy is. That was intentional by a lot of people in BLM to be able to make it decentralized for like a couple reasons. I think it was a fa failure and a mess, and I think it was an L take, but that was a intentional but decision. Just to be clear, economics are what ended up what ended up determining a lot of these political outcomes, and BLM did affect political outcomes just by the sense of all of their money was going towards Democrat policies. I mean, Democrat politicians, which was ended up uh, which ended up benefiting a lot of their. Um, a lot, a lot th th that's what they were using to fund some of their um, political races. So, like, a, a lot, a lot, a lot of that money went there. And I think that was one of the biggest criticisms of BLM. It was like, wait a minute, if you're saying that you are in, you're in favor of all of this political change that's necessary and so on and so forth and all these black issues and there's all these black um, uh, uh, grassroots organizations that actually could use your funding to actually create local change and so on and so forth and you have all these random chapters everywhere, but none of the money went to those chapters. I mean, none of the money went towards any these organizations it just went to random politicians that it felt like oh man okay so you guys aren't actually like doing anything for the people so they do put they do affect political change just not in the political change in the way that we want to they just funded more liberals who obviously are really really slow to move their feet when it came towards black um black power furthermore i think the reason what for decentralization within black organizations is specifically because of historically within this country pretty much not pretty i want to say dang i want to say literally but Pretty much every leader at the heart of like uh, great social change that was like um, positive for black people has been assassinated or murdered or or criminalized in such a way that they have been rendered useless, right? And so yeah, when I, this that was to happens, my knowledge the main reason why, yeah. That right, that's why every that. black organization always wants to be decentralized. No one wants to do that because pretty much you can guarantee yourself you're going to be murdered. Even if you look at something like the FBA cult where Tariq Nasheed is very obviously the leader, he never claims to be the leader. And it's like, well, why aren't you the leader? Like, obviously, you're the one that has the most sway. Obviously, you're the one that started it. You're the one that, like, coined it and and and, 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 and copyrighted the, or patented the freaking phrase, all, whatever the freak. All of those things, but he'll never claim to be the leader because you just don't want that kind of, like, um, attention towards you. So that's why they do those things. But it does not change the fact that they were influential. It does not change the fact that the ADL is significantly more powerful and more influential, especially when we want to start talking about where a lot of this change is actually happening, which is social. Even if you want to get past the politics, socially, the ADL is significantly more powerful than even BLM, right? Like, when you start I talking about, especially that. in... Huh? I would contest that. Well, okay, let's look at it like this. If you want to start talking about in Hollywood, there is no denying that Hollywood is significantly influenced by Jewish Wait, are you people. talking about now? Right now, yes. Oh, then, yeah. I'd say BLM right now is kind of like a smoldering pit. I would say BLM at its height, right? Because the organization, again, Run never away. had the power. It was always the hashtag. But if you look at the ADL and the influence that they actually have where it comes to people's jobs and things like that, if you make a statement that ends up being like something that they consider to be uh, problematic, you, you can stop working like period within the entertainment industry even when you look look at all the black labels they're all signed still to jewish people right like the 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 major labels were all still ran uh, music labels were still what all does ran that, by what jewish does that people. have to what does that have to do with the adl well, because the, the ADL happens to have an influence over Jewish people. For example, we saw this in effect with the Kanye West situation. When Kanye West made what they called anti-Semitic anti remarks... Then Using that they were? Had, they were I, I, obviously I, 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 what? Sure. Of course the they niggas were. So, fucking running away was Nick Fuentes. Right. What the fuck? Okay, so, so, what are you talking so, about, so, bro? What do you mean? What am I talking about? I said they called them 
anti-Semitic remarks. People and called so them. They were. Uh, yes. Yeah, they were. They were. It does matter, matter. They were. They were. It does matter. matter because, because if they are anti-Semitic, it's not even the ADO. They just are anti-Semitic. You're just jumping down something. I'm finishing a point. So the point that I'm making is when they labeled his statements anti-Semitic, you had a bunch of Jewish CEOs that got together and all said, we will all strip him of his power, and we saw how effective it was. So the fact of the matter was, the ADL was able to get together with these different people, and we saw that they all colluded together to strip him of his power. I'm not saying that they weren't anti-Semitic. I'm not saying that it wasn't warranted. I'm not saying that I can't understand where they were Well, that's the critical part. Well, no, no, no. The critical part is, I'm sorry, maybe that's the critical part for you. No, that's the critical part for everyone. uh, No, the point that I'm making, it's not critical or essential or fundamental to the point that I'm making, which is the ADL Mm -hmm. does have the influence with the other CEOs of these companies who all work together in tandem in order to effect change. So, for example, when it comes to the NBA, I mean, at at the time, I think it was the CEO of Adidas who, who, who he actually worked with. That person was Jewish. Then when you actually look at like uh, like the Kyrie Irving situation, you find out that the CEO of um, of uh, obviously Amazon. No, we're talking about Kanye. Sure. I mean, my I lord, I, 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 don't, I don't have a list off the top of my head Jewish? right now. Yes, he is. I don't um, think he's Jewish. He's absolutely. His mother was, and at, which of course that determines the lineage. So, uh, right. And secondly, and secondly, but is uh, it true? Y- yes. Look it up. And, and oh, so I'm looking you, up. Okay, thank you. And so then now you have that person. And so then you, when you have all of these various people that were all working together, I don't remember the list off of the top of my head because that was like almost a year ago, but there were like five different He's not Jewish. Jeff Bezos' mother was Jewish. Fact or not? Uh, was Jeff Bezos' I'm, mother I'm, Jewish? I'm looking at it. I don't he's know. Saying, I legitimately don't know. He's saying okay. Bezos I, uh, is a sneaky, he's a hidden I, Jew. You don't know about I'm it. Gonna, can I interject with something really quick? <laughs> Can I interject with something really quick? Okay, so I have to clarify a joke because people don't understand jokes. So I made a tweet, and now everybody in chat is, is saying stuff. So I made a tweet. I can't believe BLM owns 247 million acres of land or something like that. And then I was saying, you know, BLM doc, you know, BLM has a doc of what Bureau of Land Management, guys. I'm not being serious. Okay, uh, it's, is that an actual yeah. organization? Yeah. You, what? Yeah. BLM. Yeah. Gov. The BLM. Yeah. yeah. If you want to go camping out west, you don't even need to go to campsites. Anywhere it's BLM land, you can just set up and camp there. It's nice. Oh, I don't camp. I don't go outside, so that's probably why I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that is. You could, That's the thing. You bring a tent, and then you're inside while you're outside, you know? Yeah. Well, that's not true. Really I ain't got my PC out there, bro. It ain't, it ain't inside. I ain't got my PC. You feel me? Hey, you can't make everybody happy all okay, the time. Okay, sorry. Uh, Resume. True. You know, sorry. I just didn't want to spread misinformation. No, I, I mean, I'll jump off. I mean, if, if unless Fnatic wants to go from there, I mean, I... There's a difference between the people who organize BLM being outsiders, people who organize the movement, right, to like from a grassroots thing, and they were outsiders, right, versus, you know, people who are lawyers, right, people who are, you know, who deal with politicians in the day in and day out, who have, you know, who deal with these, uh, who deal with large businesses, even if you're not going to say, like, they directly called them up, right, like, large businesses they deal with these type of organizations right like these they are going to go and defer to an organization like the adl so the adl has this amount of soft power that is way way more than a blm right because they are they know they they go to the same parties that they that they're all their friends go to it's you know when you know somebody and when you're you know in the you know in the loop of you know the well connected elite which is where, you know, high profile lawyers and lobby groups end up, you know, where you end up going, you end up rubbing shoulders with a lot more powerful people. Just by that fact alone, you have a lot more soft power in just not just what you could say and convince the public, but what you could, you know, say and do and who you could know and get special favors from that. You know, you think the leader of BLM is able to call up anybody they want in Hollywood and they're going to, you know, directly talk to them. Like, no, maybe, no, yes, especially, but not, it's not, especially but not, it's not anymore, as ingrained. But, but in, in the height of it, there seems like there's a push for whatever specific uh, social issue might be manifesting. This is how you get those god awful like sensitivity courses and shit inside of like all of these corporate jobs and stuff that even like ceos and fuck have to take with hideously qualified individuals is because there's people who want to 
act like they're going to actually do something about various people's problems, and they just don't do anything about it. So when you're talking about people rubbing shoulders with others and like in these high-profile rooms and stuff like that, that doesn't that shouldn't mean anything to people outside of like specific circumstances where in which you can draw like issues. This is why I wanted to talk with the brother Doobie, right? But you, if you're talking about just like people rubbing shoulders, there's millions of examples of that, and it's just primarily for photo op purposes or some way they can say they did it, right? Just like those sensitivity courses. I took a sensitivity course about, uh, you know, diversity. Nobody gives a fuck. That doesn't do shit, but it looks good on uh, their record. And I don't well, see any well, difference here outside of, again, what the brother Doobie was talking about, specific instances. By the way, um, Jeff Bezos' mom is Christian. Well, Christians were Jewish, so before yeah, no, Christ. No, 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 those two things are very, very different. Uh, Judaism and Christian, Christianity are two different things. Um, I could be wrong on that then. Maybe, maybe that is one where I'm wrong. Uh, I, I thought it was. I want to look it up myself. I'll, I'll probably try to verify it myself. Um, the, the, other, the other thing was, was Chase Bank. Chase Bank closed his account, I believe it was. Um, there was a second bank that closed his account. Um, and so basically he wasn't able to process like a lot of payments and things like that. And of course those people were Jewish as well. So they had a, an obvious a huge influence over Kanye. Again, I, I remember I, uh, it's, it's vague, but at, like I said, there was probably a, about four or five different people who were all Jewish, who were all in positions of power, who all banned against him. Now you can say, well, that's, would maybe, you consider well, yourself an anti-Semite? Of course not. Well, it seems yeah. like you're saying a lot of anti-Semitic things. It just like, kind of makes me a little name one. Name one. That name you're one. that you for one you lied. You lied about fucking saying with authority that you think that um, Jeff Bezos' mom was Jewish. I lied or I was wrong. Oh yeah. Wait. Hold on. Uh, hold okay. On. Sorry. I yeah. You can keep with going, authority. Yeah. And yes. You said you lied. I lied you said or I was with wrong. authority. You. Those are. Uh, oh my God. That, oh, that has to this, imply this that I know your intention. Wait. Wait. Just, just to make sure. No. I'm not splitting hairs. Uh, no. No. She. No. She. No, she is. She, is. <laughs> she, she has to be. Let's make sure we're crystal clear here. To lie okay. is to intentionally say something. Well, I don't know what wrong. your intentions are. What the fuck? Wait. Wait. We have this disagreement before. No. 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 Did you disagree with? This I'm position. Sorry, I, I'm always, I got you. I don't care. Ain't no people. way he's getting no away position. with it. We right. had this disagreement, right. and he said a lie mm -hmm. doesn't That's require intent. If I was wrong, you can tell when someone's lying. Okay, why did you if bring you it up? Know, why did you think? Why did you think that he? Because if I remember Jewish. during the height of the the Kyrie Irving situation, I, I I I distinctly remember. Maybe it's not the CEO. Maybe it's the COO. I just distinctly remember there was a specific person that. The no, very, you said Jeff Bezos' wife. I, know, I understand. Jeff Bezos' Listen, mom. You, I'm you sorry, not wife. I'm sorry, not wife. Do you want me to answer it or not? You asked Yeah, I just wanted to clarify. I'm, 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 there you go. I'm answering it. Now listen, there was a specific time during the Kyrie Irving situation. I remember mm -hmm. again, maybe I thought I thought it was a CEO. It could have been a COO. But I remember there was a specific person at the very, very top of that company mm -hmm. that they were saying was Jewish. And so they were saying it's a little bit contradictory that this guy who is Jewish is selling the dang um selling the um the um, Hebrews to Negroes, right? Uh, or, or whatever it was, that, that, that they were selling that thing that they were claiming was anti-Semitic, and they had the ability to ban it, as they've done for other books but they, uh, and, and movies, and they chose not to. So there was like, how is this guy, if, if a Jewish person is running Amazon, who is the main distributor of this film, then of course that was a, okay. con a, a contradiction. That's why. And I thought that the person that was running it was Jeff Bezos, but it, maybe they were for referring to the COO or someone else. That's why. Um, again, right. there's a difference between intentionally lying. Why would I sit here just let me just make sure we're crystal clear. Here. I just was you asking believe, a question. I got, you, I got you. No, but you weren't just asking a question. You were accusing me of lying. I want to make sure we're crystal clear here. You think okay. that I knew that Jeff Bezos was not Jewish and aggressively told you, look it up right now multiple times and believe that you just weren't going to find no, the information I, I, on the you internet. You thought he was To be perfectly fair, a lot of so people do that. <laughs> to be perfectly fair. Yes, though. you so did I think he was Jewish. So, then, was so Jewish. Yes. I didn't lie. I made a mistake. I was wrong. Okay. There's a very clear I'm difference. just saying. I got well, you. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, and, so then, uh, and, okay, I'm, I'm it just sorry. seemed about, a little odd about, that you added that in there. What about what about what mm -hmm. about that? Be, what about being wrong about that would make me anti-Semitic? Well, I was asking the question about like, are you anti-Semitic or not? And it just seemed a little sussy. So I was asking a clarifying question. What about that? Even if I was wrong, what about that would be anti-Semitic? 
I don't really the understand the implication that why person... you brought up the fact that he was Jewish and why it was relevant was what was confusing to me. Well, be, okay, I'm sorry. If it was confusing, just to make sure that we walk you back through here so you'd fully understand. The thing that was being questioned at the time was, little, what is Why does it matter was, if he was you're Jewish? Answering, you're asking a question. Let me answer it. The thing that was being questioned at the time was, was there mm -hmm. people, a group of Jewish people, who were working together? What does and, it matter if they're religious? Like, what does it matter if well, they're because Jewish? Because the topic... Okay, please the stop interrupting. Is... Please, please stop interrupting. Please stop interrupting every time I'm, you ask me a question I'm, I'm trying to answer it. Well, you, you did you just ask another question in the middle of me answering so yeah, again I'm... the question at the time yes you did you said what does it matter whether they're Jewish when, in the middle of me sure. answering a question All stop right, go doing ahead. that thank you so the question that you asked me was why was the Jewish thing uh, even brought up in the first place and the question mm -hmm. was the, I mean, the, the, the reason was because what I was saying mm -hmm. was that the ADL being the force that it is, does sen seem to have influence over people in positions of power who happen to be Jewish. And if those people view the ADL as the arbiters, then it would make sense that all of those people would come together in order to affect mm -hmm. the change that they want to see. And in this case, the change was that they wanted to uh, strip Kanye West of his power. That's how you have this different bank, and you have uh, different organizations of the, the CEO of Adidas and so on and so forth. You have these people coming together specifically in order to create like a barrier for Kanye West's success. That's what they were doing. I'm not saying it's not unwarranted. I'm not saying that saying DEFCON 3 on Jews wasn't ridiculous and, and an absurd thing to say. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that Kanye West wasn't being Jewish. I mean, wasn't, wasn't being anti-Semitic. <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that the ADL clearly can send a signal to all of these other powerful Jewish people and we saw it effectively play out that they did work together to strip Kanye West of his power okay, so, in that scenario. Uh, so, Just because a couple of issues with it. Nina asked that question. Nina asked a question. What about what I just said would be anti-Semitic? Well, you're saying that like like all the Jews are banding together to like cancel him, basically. Mm. Right? I'm saying. If I can, would it be, if I can. Would it be? Would it be? Hold on. Would it be any different? I'm sorry. That isn't. The, to be, I'm maybe, just clarifying. No, 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 I got you. I got you. So maybe we need to be clear on what anti-Semitism is, because to me, no, no, no. no. I'm asking what you're Jewish saying. People, I, I, I've just said it in so many words. Um, mm -hmm. So, to, to, so to, to saying that a bunch of Jewish people got together and, and responded in a negative way towards an individual would be anti-Semitic? Um, no, I'm just I mean, asking, are, is that what you're I'm, saying? Okay, well, okay. Well, but you're applying in the right way. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you're, 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 you're standing with a bunch there, of obviously. Jews got together and then... Hold on, hold on, just to be clear. Everybody start talking. Two seconds. I need to make an announcement. Yeah, you tell them more. Okay, sorry for sorry for yelling over everybody. Okay, Doobie just Doobie just left, um, and so I wanted to say thank you to Doobie for joining. Um, it, it, we are in the portion of like the open panel here. Um, uh, by the way, I'm going to link Doobie's uh, Discord server um, uh, in the chat. Um, if you you know like his stuff, you can go to his Discord. Um, uh, I want to give new people who are here a chance to like say hi. Who who are you? And then we'll get right back into the into the argument here. Um, so uh, so leader, uh, why don't you say uh, you know hi to to the chat? Hi chat. I'm laid up. I stream video games. Sometimes I do talk about politics. All cool stuff. Um, yeah, you can catch me on Twitch. Okay. Okay. Uh, a guy in the top right uh, corner. Boo! <laughs> Get him out of here. No, I'm, we, we, it's, this is Lamar. Hold on, I can introduce myself. Hold on, calm down. Oh, okay. Right? So, I'm Lamar. Uh, I pretty much exist at this point. Um, I don't know a lot about politics, but I'm a friend of Bricks, and I'm just learning at this point. So, we're existing. That's all I can okay. say. Okay, chip, chip Chaser and then Glitter Bell, okay? Oh god, there's more people. <laughs> okay, Chip Chaser, we can't hear you. Glitterbell, you want to say hi? <sighs> hi, I'm Glitterbell. I have a shitty mic, and I use she, her pronouns. Let's go. And I, yeah, what's up? Okay. okay. I'll wait my turn. <laughs> All right, and then um, Dank Brandon, uh, you want to say hi? Say hi to the chat. All right, Dank Brandon, uh, we can't hear you. 
But okay, let's get back well. to Fanatic and Nina. Uh, they're back. Yeah, just forth. to be clear, I, I am uh, implying a conspiracy, uh, and I think it's a legitimate conspiracy. And uh, conspiracies don't necessarily mean something negative, or, or don't don't necessarily mean something is. Uh, I can I can imply a conspiracy without it being anti-Semitic. For example, if the Adidas got together with Chase Bank and said together, "Hey, since this dude is being so anti-Semitic with his humongous platform, we want to strip him of his power," they can do that. And, and and I would say that yeah that that would be by definition a conspiracy. And is there proof that they did? So well, I, I, I was going to get to that. There's they, actually they, they, they hold on. There is because this is really relevant. There is actually the evidence that these banks only tandem, cut ties so with him the prior case, to the controversies. Means, so, but so, I guess no, he yeah, just didn't prior, care to look that up. But it wasn't. Wait, hold on. Yeah. There is literally evidence to show that this is a lie. But okay. Just to be clear, this is a mistake. Sorry, a mistake. Link me the evidence, sure, please. Go ahead. Yeah, why did right it, why did, if why they, did, I mean I don't I don't yeah. think I don't think it's too far out of left field to say that if you've, you're implying conspiracy about Jews it, that she thinks she finds it a little bit sussy. That's not that's not sure. that's not I mean you but couldn't but sus. couldn't be it couldn't sus. be yeah it couldn't be sus. Sus. Yeah. 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 is a bit of a reach no, considering the things that I said. No, 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 you, didn't just, you didn't just ask and I said no and then that was it. I you literally asked, just I, no, did. You asked, I said no, uh -huh. and then you said, well, here's why that I you were being sexy. Yes, that's exactly what I said. I but you were it, correct. You then, and then after I explained it, you then moved on to another point. So you've been trying your no. best to incessantly imply that I'm anti-Semitic despite the evidence of any anti-Semitic tropes or anything that would actually be anti-Semitic. I'm anti -Semitic. just saying In you're... Order, ju just simply calling out, simply pointing out Acting. that two different Jewish people in positions of power work together to strip another person okay. of their power does not make By a person anti-Semitic. I, I agree. I agree here. that they, they made a mistake, but value. also I, unless it's of not. Unless oh my of God. Course, no I know. I got that. you. Yeah, I don't know. You can't feel about this. Course, yeah, I don't know. Oh this is literally what he does. This is what he's known for, by the way, is to just be tough. You keep yelling, too. You keep yelling, too. You're constantly not letting anybody talk, dude. You're just bulldozing over this. The fact of the matter is, you are wrong that Jeff Bezos or your seems to be wrong that Jeff Bezos was when you're making three different claims that three different Jewish people are fucking over this person. When those three claims were incorrect, you were wrong about either their heritage or reasons why they did it. No, I want you to continue talking. You asked me a question. I directly respond to the question that you asked me. But if you don't want to I'm responding, then you're going to get this filibuster, as you want to call it. Next time, when you ask me a question, let me answer. Stardust is talking. No, 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 no. Okay, I just, I wanted to say, let's let, the sooner we let Fnatic finish, the sooner we okay, go ahead our absolutely okay so <laughs> okay so uh and I, I don't agree with the idea that of calling you anti-semitic I, I don't think that that's uh, fair based on what you said but i think it is super fair to say that there is an implication of anti-semitism because you are wrong on three different uh, sorry you made a mistake we'll use that very specific word on three different uh occasions with the the banks right because you were talking about these uh, uh jewish controlled banks Banks that were in oh, a he possible concern. He said, did you not say that the banks were Jewish? I said specifically Chase. Let him cut, let him cut, let him cut. Okay, okay, so nonetheless, so I let you. No, no, let me answer, let me answer. Could you ask me a question? What I said was, I said that the CEO of Chase was Jewish and he was the person who Kanye West had been banking through for uh, for a, for a large portion of his things, hey. and he stopped and he froze his accounts and stopped him from processing payments, which of course was to li limit his um his, his financial. Yeah, and the implication of and the implication of this was that it came at the behest of ADL comments or ADL influence after Kanye had made several uh, inappropriate statements about Jewish people. This, yes, to my knowledge, is I not say. the case. This is not the case. Hey, I linked you to. I already linked it to you. I already linked two different articles to you, showcasing did you, did you that there was. Did you link it in the chat? Uh, I can link it in the chat if you'd like. Um, I, I'll need to pull them up again because I dropped them. But uh, uh, let me just finish my point and then I'll link it. Okay. So 
it was to my knowledge and to the knowledge of the information there that it was over insults or personal statements that Kanye West had made uh, in regards to the, the uh, individuals at these banks, not this, uh, what is it, the DEF CON comment or anything like that. It was a separate yeah, it seems issue. highly plausible, highly plausible. He was off, out of his mind. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's very interesting that you have a lot to say about letting other people let you finish. But as soon as I'm talking, you can't shut the fuck up. So there is that issue that you claimed that the the ADL had the influence over this Chase Bank situation and the Jeff Bezos, like Jeff Bezos, you know, not being friendly with the guy either and so it does look a bit there is an implication of you pointing fingers at this jewish control and then oh, oh, oh. actually that wasn't jewish control oh, oh actually that can, wasn't jewish can, control oh, wait, wait, and so wait, the impl- I, I listen brother can, i've been waiting no 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 and so i'm not again i don't think it's fair to say you are anti-semitic because i want to use that word very sparingly right i use it for very little people mm. right personally so th- there is that but with but what you said and the mistakes that you made imply some jewish conspiracy that just simply isn't there or backed up by the facts as linked to you isn't backed up by the facts it does kind of imply a little bit of uh, you're pointing the fingers at this mysterious ghost jewish cabal that doesn't exist and so that's that's kind of a little a bit sus. Well, I never well, said anything about a cabal. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, Jewish yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, Jewish yeah, conspiracy. You can try everything you can to keep misrepresenting my words in order to try to make your nigga. Point. You I said three different wrong statements. Ain't nobody gonna misrepresent you. I don't want the fuck, nigga. I was I was putting on the baby clothes for you. You just get your fucking facts straight. If you're gonna talk about a conspiracy of Jewish people, actually make sure you know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm sorry. I was trying to be kind to you. Person that's not even Jewish. Jewish for no reason. Break. Let's give King Brick a chance to speak here and then Ginger, okay? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I'm kind of like, the way you guys are treating it is like, look, Jeff Bezos doesn't run Amazon anymore. Jeff Bezos separated himself from it a while ago, right? And he's saying that there's another person who was in charge of their distribution and he's misrep- misremembering exactly who it was. Uh, look, I, I remember a lot of stuff, right? I can't always, you know, recall everything to the exact thing, right? But to go and imply, right, that he... What he, oh, you want? You want to jump off of that? Can I? Would you allow me to? Yeah, sure. Oh, actually, I didn't know. Not, I was just wa- I was just waiting for we, after. We, we, Sorry. Yeah, the reason up, why so. th- I'm stressing this at all is because there was a statement of implied uh, anti-Semitism, which I believe meets merit here. But even beyond that, the, a, a basis for this whole conversation was about how we misfire the statements about am- anti-Semitism and whether or not we need to have more tact with when we make claims about maybe there being some uh, like people, Jewish people in positions of power that are doing maybe some sussy stuff. And we need to be precise and in, in, in extremely precise with our execution of these and have our yeah. facts at the ready. And so when somebody comes through and makes three misfires in like yeah, 30 seconds, up, yeah, that is I'll, incredibly I'll, 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 fucking I'll, I'll, weird. Let, 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 pretty God. One second. Let me get really quick. One second. Let me get really quick. Because it's me. Uh, you're, 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 I don't need you to defend me. I can defend myself. Look, the point of the matter was the guy's name is Andy Jassy. I just hadn't looked it up again. As I said, the distributor during that time, he is a Jewish person. He was the person who was the, the CEO of Amazon at the time. I thought Jeff Bezos was still the CEO. I did not remember. So it was yeah. a Jewish person who was a CEO at the time who was distributing Hebrews to Negroes during the height of all of these things. That's why there was this, this mis, mis, miscommunication, like I said. So it yeah. was actually a Jewish person at the head of okay, that thing okay. during I, that I, time. I, I, Thank can, you. I, I want to, wait so a minute. there's the okay. clarification. Okay. I just didn't remember if it was Andy Jassy or Jeff Bezos. Wait, Bye. okay. Oh, oh, King, come on. Okay. 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 King, Wait. King Brick and then Ginger. And then Ginger, right. okay? If he was anti Semitic, wouldn't it make sense that he has everything? Oh no, it's not Jeff Bezos, it's this Jew. He just knows that as a as a as a that there's something Who, that happened. He? Fanatic. Right? If he was an anti Semite, right, wouldn't he be the guy who's like ready to go with all the facts? You're saying I don't like, think you gotta, anyone's calling you know, him an anti Semite. No, no, well, no they were. Oh, no, wait, they, they, they were kind I of implying, asked. like, hey, you know I'm what you say? You can say I'm You can ask me. Why don't you ask me right now? Ask me right now. Am I anti Semite? Everybody shut up. We're going to go to Ginger. I'm just going to say no. She was waiting very, very patiently. Ginger, go ahead. 
So I, I wanted to ask Fanatic, <clears throat> Fanatic specifically, what does, what does Chase have to do with ADL? Well, I would say, as I already pointed out in the conversation, I get it, it's probably hard to finish these points because everyone keeps interrupting and misconstruing my words. The thing that I was saying was that, obviously, it would make sense that if you have, like, a person who is of Jewish descent, who is a CEO of a large bank, and then you have someone like the ADL, who are kind of like, maybe like the collective authority with, um, on, like, Jewish voices and Jewish identity, then if that, in that case, then the... You, you asked me a question, you're already ready to interrupt. Did you want an answer or not? No, but the problem is, is, is the, okay, but the problem is, is that the CEO of Chase is not Jewish. Yep, he's the not Jewish. Said, I think the his, person who sent him the letter was Jewish. No, oh, his, okay, but I his, no, 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 the CEO is from Greece. Both of his parents are from Greece. His wife is Jewish. He didn't convert before the marriage or after the marriage. He is not Jewish in any sense. Okay, that's probably what the connection is. So another misfire. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Just to be clear, I got you. If your misfire, for one, is because I thought it was Jeff Bezos as opposed to the act. Hold on. Hold on. If your misfire is for one, because I mentioned the name Jeff Bezos instead of the actual CEO who was actually Jewish, that's a misfire. If I'm saying that the that the the CEO of Chase, right, and you're saying, well, he's not Jewish, only his wife is Jewish, as if somehow we're supposed to completely say that there are no ties there. If, again, if these are the things that you're grasping for straws in order to prove, again, and I, and I told you from no, the very beginning. No, we're not talking you, about ties. I told you from the very beginning. Oh, my God. I told you from the very beginning. Wait, so does the Jewish part matter or no? First of all, sir. And I told you from the very beginning that I didn't remember this all off the top of my head because one, it happened that's a fine. year ago. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So if that's the case, if these are the if these are the misfires, then why are you doing the about, Jewish relation? If me, wait, if me wait, talking, wait. if me talking about, if these are the misfires, you me mis 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 misremembering a name, which later on turns out no, 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 to we're not talking be a Jewish that. person, or misremembering that the CEO himself isn't Jewish, only his wife is Jewish. If these are the misfires you're talking about. You said it was a Jewish conspiracy. Any person can obviously see, don't interrupt me and we won't oh. take this long. Any person can obviously see. I think if we don't interrupt, it will take longer. Correct. That is correct. See, you did. You guys have all been interrupting me. My you, God. Next time, next time, okay. try it. When I'm talking, the entire shut point. Up, I'll be finished. I'm the entire talking. point. The right entire now. point. Wait, when wait, I'm talking, is that you're trying to make a thing with a Jewish conspiracy and you've been wrong about all of the people that you named as being Jewish. At the time when I made it, I was correct that the Jewish CEO of Amazon was actually Jewish. I just didn't remember Ooh. that Jeff Bezos was the one that had you're hired him. You're doing a really good job so of making it seem like you're not anti-Semitic. second one of those cases Very, was, very good you're job. You're yet again. You, I, you, keep saying you, don't, you keep saying you don't interrupt me, but you yeah, don't interrupt me. Yeah, I don't want you to keep talking. What the fuck? Please let him talk. Then, if that's the okay, case, okay, do we want to do the whole thing where we talk over each other? I'm not mad. Because as you know, I will take as long as I need to, as long as I'm interrupted. You can stop. The guy that's yelling definitely assumes and then again, the other person you were very was, mad. The, was, the other person was who I said was Jewish. didn't accept my friend request? Was, the other person was who On I Discord? said. The other person who, I, who was who I said was Jewish, and it just so happened to be that his wife <laughs> was the Jewish person. So they're obviously, you see the obvious correlation. Yes, yeah, so obviously so the Jews got there. Was his wife like whispering at the end of the Again, so the love of God. So then again, so then again, Again, you can, you have point. power, you can mute. Let me finish the point. No, so then again, God, the point the is, panel. obviously, the obvious point that I was My making, God. that I mm -hmm. got you. Next time, shut up when I'm talking, it won't take this long. So now I'm going to be making <laughs> my point. Know, so my the God, obvious correlation, the, uh, the, sure, obvious, yeah. the uh -huh. obvious, the obvious, the obvious, the obvious, the obvious, point, the obvious point that I was making was that the obvious CEO of the company at the time obviously had sympathies towards the Jewish faith, considering that his wife was freaking Jewish. I didn't oh, now you're being sexist, too? That's totally sympathy. Okay, then I got okay, it. You guys okay, are right. I'm okay, an okay, anti-Semite. Okay, 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 and I thought that a CEO who was married to a Jewish woman would have Jewish sympathies. Yeah, y'all got me. 
Wait, wait, that does sound more like anti-Semitic. That's so crazy. Unironic. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I don't think it's necessarily, you know, your idea. It's more fanatic is it's more so just that um, you you were specifically saying that it's like the Jewish and Jewish connection between the CEO and the CEO. But I, I can't see the logistic side of him just doing his wife's bidding. Wait, hold on. OK, I got you. Ginger, tell me right now, you, you're going to sit here and tell me, for example, if I... Mm, uh, yeah, if I'm married to a Hispanic woman and somebody does some egregious thing against Hispanics, you're going to tell me that my wife, me, I wouldn't be sympathetic to her cause specifically because of the fact that she's Hispanic? Ginger? I, I would say that, that moving in a, doing an entire business move based off of feelings isn't necessarily a business move. And I okay. don't think... Mo hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. I uh, and I don't, I don't think most millionaires work like that. I don't think their business is relied on any type of emotion that's considered in that aspect uh, that isn't Jewish themselves. Like, I just don't. I'm sorry. I just don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, First leader. off, look, Let's I think... Wait, look, 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 can, can I just respond to her really quick? Just, just to be clear. Okay, look, real, real you, quick. I got you. Yes, there are obviously people who make these decisions based off of emotions. Clearly, if someone is offended, obviously, look at what Adidas did. Adidas had, a, I think, at, the, at a point, a, a bill that was worth almost $10 billion, right? And they severed that specifically with Kanye, specifically because of his Jewish things. That's an emotion, right? So obviously, you see that people are willing to make these deals. And I would, I would think that the idea that these things are only, they have to be directly personal and there wouldn't be, there would be no ties to a wife or any other close personal relationship would ever influence these things is ridiculous. I I just, I okay, just okay, think okay. That, oh, okay. So, go ahead. I, I want to go to leader. I'll oh, go ahead, leader. And then we'll go our uh, relevant next, and then Lamar uh, after that. Okay. So, go ahead, leader. I, I would, I would say that it would be wholly, I think it would be not an, I don't think it would be a very accurate way of looking at things to judge everyone acting on behalf of like, to imply someone is a part of a conspiracy as a part of a racial group because their wife is is of that particular race. I don't think that necessarily, like, shots in. I don't think that slides in with my worldview. However, I'll, I'll, I would like to we end by, get, by cutting it, cutting giving Fnatic a break here and say, can we, uh, what is it? I'd say any, any type of censorship on a particular topic, if you sort of, if you say someone can't talk about something, you're inherently making it cool to be talked about. Some people will say sure. if someone decides to talk about some censored topic, usually um, there is a degree of edginess or, uh, you know, this person's saying the things that can't be said. It becomes very uh, hip to talk about that type of topic. Now, I wanted to throw that idea out there, and that's sort of, that's where I was going to, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's my point. <laughs> okay. Somebody said they disagreed oh. with what you said. Who, who was that? I think I said I agreed. I think I was the only person who spoke a little bit. I'm, yeah, I agree. Said I agree. Yeah. I, I might have misheard. Yeah. My bad. Okay. Bye. So a couple of issues I had with uh, what Fnatic brought up about the wife situation was one. Um, I think we have this magical idea of CEOs that they aren't beholden to fiduciary op uh, uh, obligations. If he may busted a multi-million dollar deal with one of the most famous people alive because his wife said something, he would almost certainly be in breach of contract well, no. and in breach of the fiduciary. Yes, he is. Okay. He absolutely would be. He absolutely would so, well, Jamie like Diamond. Ja Jamie Diamond canceled his bank, didn't cancel the deal. You're talking about the Adidas guy you canceled? No, the no, deal? no. You're canceling his bank also. Do you know that when you have money in the bank, the bank can use your money to be able to pay yeah. out other Yes, so that yeah, uh, gives really them money. That, there's, really, there's really not that much of a 
laws compared to like what happened with Adidas, right? Where Adidas. I'm had, not like, comparing oh. it to Adidas. What I'm saying is that is absolutely if, if, to do that on the whim of your wife would almost certainly be a, a breach of your fiduciary your fiduciary obligations to your investors and shareholders. I have no idea why we're acting like that. Wouldn't be the case. Well, and number why two, well, hold on, all, hold, hold, hold why on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll address no, it. Let's, let's I'll, let's let's the reason on. that's great because I'm getting to that. He did that not because of what we're even claiming. I don't know why we're even going off of that. He, he did that because he personally Personal insulted insults. the the uh, yeah, board look, members and then yes made it so that way they didn't want to share responsibility, right? Like why those were all of the board members, not one board member's wife. Right. Uh, again, but the it is like why would the board members if they made an insult, why their fiduciary obligation to their shareholders? They made because that personal insult was also con the context so, of it was so, about whether or not he would continuously bank with them in the future. So they were like, fuck this guy. He's fucking weird. He's talking shit about all of us. Fuck this. We're going to cut our deal with him. Not because one dude's wife was like, mm, he's mean. No, this is, this is <laughs> ridiculous. Well, well, did, did he have a deal, though, with the bank? I guess he had some people managing his money. A, a deal like with that. a bank? What do you Please, mean? Like, again, like, they uh, use your money to be oh, able to... Okay, okay, I, 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 we don't need to explain the way the banking sector works. No, no, no. There's a, there's a huge difference between a deal with Adidas, right? Where, Nobody's like, comparing what, Adidas. Well, but it's not a deal with the bank. You just have your money there, and they manage You're just starting to think. Say, I can like, almost guarantee, like, if I had to bet, shit. if I was a waging man, I could almost guarantee he had a, a system with the bank that most people do who are incredibly wealthy, where in which he had a high interest account, where in which he would, it was massively profitable for him, and also pretty profitable for the bank. Yeah, the idea that, like, somebody who was as rich so as crazy. Kanye West would be doing his banking, like, uh, in, like, on like a individual basis, like where he's yeah. actually doing all this type of stuff without an accountant, is, yeah, is, well, I'm, is I'm a not, little bit silly there's, stuff. There's, 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 a, there's a complete difference between losing, I don't know, what could they make off Kanye? What is your complaint? Well, it's a deal with like Adidas, right? right? You're where just they, saying they things. had no. It's not saying it. like you like to interrupt people like in the middle of their sentence. Then Literally wonder why people take why people take 20 minutes because every time they got to address a time. new claim that you started, right? So yep. like that's every that's part time. of your problem. This I'm conversation not, yeah, was going perfectly I'm not fine speaking. until Can you please I have no idea why yeah, we're acting like it was what. her. It was the problem. Because look, Chase manages a lot of money. They have investment accounts, right, where they just manage the money and they invest, right? Like they're not making that much money off of Kanye compared to what Adidas lost, right? Okay, Adidas wait, had wait. merch they couldn't but sell, they point? tanked Adidas. There's a, like, to say that there's a deal with the bank, it's like, okay. it's not, it's you're not, the yeah, one who just said, you're the one who just said that there was a deal with the bank. Yeah, okay. but to, to go and say that there's a deal with the bank, if it, again, yes, there is Do some fiduciary responsibility. Can you yeah, please tell me what the point is? The I point is, it. what, we're talking about fiduciary responsibility. Why does Adidas cancel and, and then they have he all the He said he likes Hitler. Made. He said he likes Hitler. Okay, the, so guy was going, the guy was going. Wait, hold on. Need, the guy was going through a mental killer. breakdown, right? We it's all knew this, right? So again, yes, so they didn't know the bank being related. Yeah, yeah, so, so oh responsibility, my God. right? So you we're, we're separate. Oh, no, oh you put my put God, you, you, you are taking two separate instances. The banks didn't stop interacting with him because of what he said about some anti-Semitic thing. It was personal insults. I linked it. I'll, I'll link it again, right? The, the personal insults that were directed towards the members uh, of the board and stuff like that. That was the he reason why. Now, on Adidas, I would have to okay. look into Adidas's situation. If it was about the anti-Semitic remarks, of course they did. Like, they're, they're yeah, going to take a course. massive hit. And when we're talking about the yeah. fiduciary ob obligations, yes, if I don't get rid of Kanye, we're going to lose millions in sales. Obviously, I mean, it meets my fiduciary obligations to be able to do that. Like, I, like, okay. I, I, would, I would also, also like to... And then like he came to... out pro-Hitler. I'm Hi, trans. Man. If you don't let me finish my sentence, you're transphobic. Fuck you. <laughs> There's a new market that they just opened up with Kanye West. They could sell. Oh, okay. we confirm transphobic. Shut up. About as much All as right. I believe guys. Being trans. guys, guys. All right. Lamar has been waiting. I want to give Lamar a, a chance here. Okay, Listen, Lamar. I've just been listening at this point, uh, but I do want to say that comp like for streams like this, conversations are very important. You're not supposed to be attacking another person. It's supposed to be a conversation. One person's supposed to talk. The next person is supposed to give their ideas on whatever the fuck the other person said, right? So that's you what I you like Kanye West. Well, yeah, you, fucking you, no. You I, love Kanye West. Sure, okay, I'm, I'm, pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just. I'm sure he's sure they just knew to Twitch poll. 
No, well, yeah. no, hold on. No, 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 no. You're, no you're, he's absolutely correct. That is the way yeah. conversations are supposed to be going. But just Nina will interrupt you literally every time she asks you a question. Ask what are relevant. And so that's why the conversation don't go that way. Okay, hold on. Wait, and that's what I'm talking about. I don't think 40 minutes you don't interrupt me when I'm talking. I spent 45 minutes with literally started this. You don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, 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 Guys, this is what shut I'm up. talking about, right? Go ahead. There's, there's not supposed to be you attacking the other person, especially in a conversation with multiple people. Don't attack the other person. Attack their, not necessarily attack their ideas, but talk about the ideas that they had after they've gotten their ideas fully out. So that way we know what they're talking about. And then in the, because so that way we're not in the middle of the sentence being like, oh yeah, this person, they said something and I don't agree with that. So I'm just going to butt in and do whatever, right? Yeah, and your, earring, and your earrings look stupid too, Lamar, okay? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> your earrings are beautiful. Thank you. But okay, again, Mando. It's Ma Mando. because I forgot what the fuck, like, I've been, dr I've been drinking tonight. I completely forgot what the fuck I was going to say. You're chugging a with. whole bottle there. Yeah, you know, we're Okay, we're Mando. Yes. My man is, Ma is, all the, is all the bubble. Mando, you're very quiet. You're very quiet. Not very quiet. I've been talking this whole time. And nobody oh, heard okay. you. And nobody was able to hear you, apparently. You probably can't hear me. Or maybe my mic is... is... Get really close I would, to I would it. Agree, I would agree with Lamar, right? Like, that's the foundation of having an actual productive conversation. However, are we supposed to sit here and be held hostage by fanatics... 45-minute word vomit. This is the attacking <laughs> time. This is the attacking time. Yeah, yeah, attack. yeah, but to say, to say word <laughs> vomit, right? I'm not like, attacking the medic. I'm attacking his approach to, to conversation. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Is that not okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, but he couldn't. He, yeah, oh, but wait, oh, but wait. He, he wasn't able to get his point across. He was trying to explain stuff, and people kept levying new attacks on him. He was trying to clear out like so, what he, no, bro. people said to him before. Well, you said the problem was you, people kept laying on more things. I hear you. No, 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 no. Right that's, not, that's not. That's not. That's not. I'm disagreeing with you. you I'm, what I'm saying is. Right what, 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 what I'm saying is. I don't need anybody to I, look. I don't need anybody to defend me. It's totally fine if they want to say that I did 45 minutes and they and I've already I've already made the simple point. If you don't interrupt me, I don't take that long to talk. Next time, shut up while I'm talking. If they don't hear that and they want to disagree with that, even though we have evidence, the video's gonna go live. We're all gonna see it. We know that I was being interrupted uh -huh. literally every time. If they can't see that, that's fine. I, I don't care how they feel. Oh, hold up. I don't, my time, facts don't time, care about your feelings. Time out. They're going to call you right, anti Semitic. Meanwhile, we got these two guys me. doing it the Roman salute right next to you. Shut the fuck up and okay, let me talk. Okay. If you don't interrupt Oh, me, my God. All right. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I cannot believe that there are people doing the Roman salute on my panel. Okay. But anyway, Start I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> uh, very funny. Um, okay. Chip Chaser are relevant than Lamar. Okay. What really first? Hey, let's go. Hey, hey, you don't mind if I do. Um, so I actually disagree, it seems like, with this entire panel about how conversations should, should be conducted. I don't think that you have to wait until somebody's entire statement is done. I think usually when we're talking about productive conversations is to avoid uh, things like we used an inflammatory word uh, word vomit there that, that is a bit inflammatory. But to in order, order to avoid that, what is typical of healthy discourse is when I find something objectionable, especially when we're talking about the characterization of somebody's behavior, that person should be able to interrupt. An example would be if I said Fanatic is a bitch because he was he's anti-Semitic and then I keep Objection. going or something like and I don't believe that, just to be clear, and I keep going, then he should obviously be able to go, hold on, how am I anti-Semitic? Instead of waiting for me to finish a fucking 20-minute pre-ramble of how he's a bitch who's anti-Semitic. No, he should be able to actually interject in that moment, right? I think that's usually how health, healthy discourse is done is being able to interject with, especially when it comes to no, uh, character that, it attacks. Depends. Yeah. If, if, if the thing that they're saying is, again, if someone asks you a direct question, and before you can even get to the question, as you're literally j directly responding, and they start answer, asking a whole bunch more questions, that's just failure on conversation. If like someone's making a statement and they're literally directly addressing you, then you probably should wait till they're finished with their statement. And unless you know that someone's going to ramble, which most of the time, someone I, like a person like myself is not going to ramble, it hadn't happened up until that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? Like, 
it's and nobody's buying it, bro. That is a perfect example right now. And again, a person like me, up to that point in the conversation, up to that point into that in the conversation, I have not went up to that point, up to that point, and now here it is again. So look, once again, you're gonna say, oh, he did a 45 minute word word vomit. Next time, shut up when I'm talking, and you don't have to worry about it. And this is exactly what happens every time. If I sat there, I'm, I, you can say I'm gonna get to the point. I, I, look, isn't it interesting that you're the only person who has this Complain about people. You can say get to the point, but I'll get to the point next time. And I was getting to the point, and then you guys didn't want to me yet again. So I got you. So next time, don't interrupt me. Next time, next time, next time, next time, next time, next time, when I'm next time, and then you'll actually get to the bottom of my point. So that was the entire point that I was making. Now, for example, if I decided to call irrelevant, if I was to sit there and like randomly say, I think I'm relevant as a coon, if I make that statement, what what are you talking about? I'm, no, I'm saying no, no, no. Let me finish my point. Yeah, seriously. Like I said, if I can finish my point, if I make that statement, if I make that statement, if I make that statement, I can't even interrupt him when he called me a racial slur. There it is. Now you're interrupting me, so now you're in the So you could just make the statement, and then we wouldn't be interrupting you. If I make the statement, if I make the statement, let me finish the point. Let's say it again. Get there. If I make the statement, if I make the statement that our relevant is a coon. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Can we, can we actually, can we actually, seriously, I'm on Twitch, dial this shit back, dial this shit back or I gotta go, dial this shit back or I gotta go, I'm on Twitch, I'm serious, I'm not playing games, I'm not playing games, I'm on Twitch, just to say we're clear. Yeah, he is. I, like, I, he's I, trying I, to kamikaze yeah. everybody's uh, okay. fucking stream on this goddamn I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. You know you can't say that. Stop. I've been partnered longer than every single person in this you know Nobody cares, bro. I Nobody know. cares how long you've had your partner badge. Don't flex that shit. Nobody cares. I know. I change it all the time. I know. I know that what I said is not Stardust, talk. It's not racist. Can I please? Can I please finish a single point, Stardust? Can you tell me yourself so I can finish a single point? Thank you. Can I finish one point? Thank you. Shut up when I talk. So the, I shut up. When I talk. Oh my god. Shut up when I talk. So the point that I make. <laughs> You're shut shaving. Up talk. Shut, shut up when I talk. 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 There it is again. You all are experiencing this because you won't shut up. I'm not talking. Just say what you're gonna say. No, then shut up while I'm saying it. So the point that I'm making. Can you please just not say the c word? Okay. So the point that I'm making. Okay. So before okay. everyone gets before everyone gets so their go ahead. Just, make your point you, you, I'm doing it and you still keep talking shut up <laughs> So the point that I'm making is, the point that I'm making, you did, you just said, okay, say it then. So shut up. Oh my God. You don't even realize you're doing it. So the point that I'm making is that, the point that I'm making is that, the point that I'm, the point that I'm making is that, the point that I'm making is that, the word itself, the word, that word is not bannable if it's used as a locution, which I, 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 he was interrupting me, shut up. Well, I talk and the point won't take that long and now I'm gonna start over the point that I was making is the point that I was making is that word the point that I was making is the point that I was making is I got you y'all gonna have to endure it next time you shut up while I'm talking the point, the point that I was making is the word is not bad the point that I was making is the, the, word, the point that I was making is the, okay, oh. I got you. Look, you, 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 you don't want to go to the it's really that simple. The point that I was making. You can just say it. You can just say it. I will say it if you'll shut up while I'm talking. The point that I got you. Shut up. The point that I was making. The point. The point. Usually we tell you to shut up. The point. The point. The point that I was making is. The point that I was making. The point that I was making is. The point that I was making is. Okay, so I can shut the fuck up. Conversation. Trust me, I got more. I'm going to finish this point. The point. We get it, the point. We get it, Mando. We get it. The point that I was making is <laughs> the word. The point that I was making is that word when used as a locution, mm -hmm. as a black 
person is not race essentialized and therefore is not a term Eyes. of hate and therefore is not a term of hate speech so therefore the Eyes. idea that we, the, the therefore the idea that we would get banned don't interrupt me again or I'll start over therefore I, the idea that this would somehow over, the, the, okay there we go the point that I was making Wait, right, I don't give a fuck about this guy anymore I'm sorry I literally don't care I'm not gonna sit here and listen to him fucking do this shit another time I literally don't give a fuck if I, if I actually yeah, if I have to listen to him I'm just gonna fucking do it I'm not you, you you can leave like if we're gonna have to do that. Like there's no way. Like, there's no way. There's no way. Yes, he did. He interrupted me, and that's why I started over. I said, I said, if you interrupt me again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, and then he interrupted me. You can go ahead and watch the vibe. It was Mondo. It was Mondo. It was obvious. Everyone heard it. He's muted. It was Mondo. I haven't muted. No. Okay. No, he's not. He was not muted. He was not muted. But yeah, you can mute him, and then I can finish my point, and we can mute and move on. All right. There we go. There we go. So I got it. If you think it's false, let me finish the point Mando, that I'm making. You're lying, the, dog. No, no, if, no. If, if you think it's false, the next time, let me finish the point, and then you can contend with it. So the point that I was making is the word itself isn't a hate speech if it's used as a locution. It is not race essentialized when black people use the word. This is why I use the word locution. It is race constrained. So when I say that word, it's not a fundamental factor that the person is black, though it is constrained only to black people, right? That's the difference between race constrained and race essentialized. And therefore, it is not hate speech because it is not race essentialized. And therefore, it's not bannable, which is why I've said the word for 10 10 years on the stream and have never been banned for it. That's a fancy way of Thank saying you. he can say the Holy racial shit. slur in his Thank mind. You. Listen, no, shut the fuck up. This is exactly yeah. what I was talking about. Let the yeah, person finish their fucking sentence. He did. He did. No, here's the no, problem. No, here's the no, problem. No, no, if no, you no, like, no, 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 this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous on the Facebook. No, 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 you said this. You said that people have the right to interrupt when they feel like they have their fucking they're brought up in some way this guy's trying to get a point across and everybody keeps interrupting him the point is you should show the other person respect enough to let them finish the point if you don't like it wait till he's done and then respond but the, uh, but saying that he's saying that, 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 that i have the right to someone is say, literally spreading misinformation nobody's about because it's his point it's his point and you can wait and can you no 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 it doesn't matter i'm talking right now that's called polite conversation this is not court i don't have a gavel where i Say sustained or overturned. You're talking over me right now, and that's fine. But yeah, but this isn't a courtroom. You want to respond in conversation? The fact this is meant to be polite conversation. If you all want to yell over each other, look, I, look, I'll do this all the time when I'm when I'm debating with somebody. I want to get heated, right? Yeah, we'll yell at each other. But if you want to have an actual conversation, if you disagree with the man saying, you wait till he fucking finishes, and then I you say no, you're no, wrong no. here, here, and here. Because if no you keep if someone, you keep interrupting there no somebody, there is, yeah, there no is a reason. Why you shouldn't be able to interrupt someone when they spread misinformation. It's called courtesy. The it's called courtesy. That they're spreading. It's not courtesy. There's no reason. Let me tell you. 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 And, and maybe this is just me, but knowing the way that Fanatic is, I have, uh, I, I have learned that Fanatic is this way, and Fanatic is not going to change the way that he is. So, um, so and I know, just and I to know, change and conform I, to Fanatic. Is that what you're saying? Yep, that's yeah, exactly what's being said. No. Exactly. No. No. Yeah, exactly. And I'm with you. I'm not going to change any of the shit that I did. So I'm not going to change yeah, any well, of the shit. I, the fact is, okay, go on, sir. Okay, that's it. I'm making content. I think it's funny. All right, it was it was super funny. Um, especially when everybody was screaming at the same time. I thought that was hilarious. But um, anyways, go ahead. I mean, it's funny. It's, it's funny until like half the panel wants to leave because of one. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, I was like, this goes to just fucking and I, and I have, Let Chip, and I wanna... Let Chip talk. I... Let Chip talk. Let Chip talk. Let Chip talk. Chip, go ahead. This All right, Stardust. Wait, yeah, what? Uh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> um, okay, so wait, no, I'll you're wait. right, Ginger. You're right. Maybe, maybe I should have stepped in earlier. Uh, I'll own that. Okay. All right. Um, in, in the future, the way you step in is either you tell everyone to shut up so I can finish my point. That's it. No. And then we will have a can, I put, can I put something out there? All right. I think I think I think there is an element with like nine people in the room to sort of like there is sort of like 
there is there is a little bit of common courtesy with the non-interrupting thing. But I, I do think that Fnatic has taken this idea and then he's just like gone into orbit with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. And what I'm yeah, saying with that is that we're yeah. starting the point again and again and again and 45 minutes later, it's, it yeah. is just... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just because I haven't done panels with some, some of these people. Some of them are new, but it's really simple. It's a very effective method because, look, here's the biggest problem, bro. Like, to be honest with you, almost all of the panels, you'll find that people are, like, talking over each other and so on and so forth, and no, no points are actually being made. And I've always felt like it was complete garbage content. But I get it. It's entertaining. I get that it's entertaining. So then my point is, it's like, listen, when I have a point to make, because more often than not, I don't even come on panels. But if I have a point to make, I'm going to make the point. Now, if I'm being interrupted incessantly, if I'm being, now, if I'm, now, if I'm being interrupted incessantly, like, by this chip chaser nigga, then I'll just go ahead and repeat myself. Luckily, his mic is quiet, so I don't feel so freaking uh, annoyed by it. But typically, if their mic wasn't quiet, I would just go ahead and do that because I'm going to finish the point that I'm making, especially, especially when someone is intentionally going out of the way to mischaracterize my words, calling me a liar, literally asking me if I'm anti-Semitic, all these sorts of things, I, then, oh, I'm going I to become feel, particularly like, I oh, um, or, or feel in as situation. if they were playing into I don't, I don't your reaction, like so well, that's, okay. that's why they were yeah, interrupting yeah. you. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Like I, you really, I actually, you really think that certain, individuals were mis- characterizing what you said you well, said I, it. I, oh, yes, no, sure. actually, no, 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 really you, right? was, okay, <laughs> you're saying why he shouldn't no. be able to, why you should, oh, okay okay all right <sighs> hip chaser oh i was literally ginger given an order of, irrelevant okay oh yeah thanks star i appreciate that ball, i was man. literally given an order of uh <laughs> how people were going to be able to speak and uh I ceded my time to Relly on the condition that I would be able to speak after that. And now, what are we, 40 minutes later? I don't even fucking know. Oh, yeah, true. So, well, that wasn't important. <laughs> no, no, no. Can we can we chill for just a second? Here's the problem, is that the point that I might have to make uh, uh, is, you know, it might be like an hour old by the time that I get to speak about it. What I wanted to point out, and, you know, it's pretty cooked by this point. I could say a lot of other things, but I, I'd rather say what I had to say to begin with. Look. <sighs> <laughs> Fnatic said, wait, wait, Fnatic, can you just chill out for a second? Fnatic said that in the absence of any anti Semitic trope, it would be very odd to call him anti Semitic. The problem with that is he was literally invoking one of the most common anti Semitic tropes, which is to accuse people of being Jewish, and then funnily enough, he doubled down on it without evidence and then later walked it back. You can't claim that you're not exhibiting anti Semitic tropes while doing that. Any response to that, buddy? Sure, got you. So you're saying simply thinking someone is Jewish and they're not being Jewish is anti-Semitic? No, well, not I thinking. Said that he's saying claiming people of being Jewish without evidence, which you yes. did not have to provide, and mm. redacted your own statement afterwards, mm. is an mm. anti-Semitic trope. That is okay. an anti-Semitic trope. Listen, I got you. Then I'll give that to you. If you're saying because I said this guy is Jewish and he wasn't Jewish, that's an anti-Semitic trope because that's what I did. If that's anti-Semitic to you. I'll gl- I'm I'm perfectly fine with you calling me anti-Semitic, buddy. It means you nothing. Doubled down on it. You without doubled evidence. down on it, though. You sure. said he I, was. You said okay. he was Jewish. You said mm-hmm. he was Jewish, and then you tied him to some fucking Jewish conspiracy. That was okay. that's, that's the, the important right. part right there. Is he tied him to a conspiracy? That's the okay. important part. Just right. by the way. So I got you. Just to be crystal clear, so the conspiracy that I was alleging actually was true. The CEO at the time was Jewish, and the CEO did respond to the to the thing that that, that happened there. I just so happened to mi- mix up the names. Because because I remembered, as I said before, I, I distinctly remember them saying like the higher up in the company was a, was a Jewish person and that they were allowing this thing to happen. That's what I distinctly remember. But I guess maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was a CEO. I'm trying to think of other justifications, not realizing that I was just actually right. And it's just that Jeff Bezos was not that person. I say it all the time. The thing I that I have, actually, the, 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 I say it all the time. I say it all the time. The thing that I have, I know you're going to wait. I say it all the time. The thing that I have, that, I, that I'm the worst at, the, I got you. I say it all the time. The thing that I'm the worst at is names. So if that's like, if, yeah, if you, the thing that you're going to get me on is that I said Jeff Bezos as opposed to, I don't remember his name now, Jazzy something, then yeah, I, I, you got it. I, I don't mind you calling me anti-Semitic. You, you, don't know what it, you don't know what that word means, and it means nothing coming out of your mouth. Go ahead. I'll own that one. Okay, okay. I want to give to our relevant okay, and then Ginger, sorry. okay? So, Wait, I thought sorry. Ginger was before me. That's okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, um, so uh, I personally, I'm not willing to claim that you're anti-Semitic. I think you made a couple of uh, mistakes that led to, you, you know what, Chip, you get in here, bro. I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I think it was Ginger. I just wanted to say shout out. Uh, I think it was her, but uh, whoever was saying, let Chip talk. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, go ahead. Rebel. You're welcome. I love you, bud. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So, yeah, fuck you, Lamar. <laughs> so, 
Um, the, the main issue that I had was the, uh, the confidence and the idea that you were propagating that it was Jeff Bezos and uh, was Jewish because his mom was Jewish, right, or, or, or something to that degree. And then you, had, you then later extrapolated on Chase Bank, the person who ran it being Jewish, and all of this coming from an incident of Kanye West talking um, uh, about DEFCON, the DEFCON statement, and some of the other statements he made that were uh, uh, anti-Semitic, and then all of that stemming from the ADL when none of that was the case, right? No. Chase was in Chase with... Uh, it, that's weird. I almost heard Fanatic just speak while I was talking. Did you guys hear that? Maybe that was a... I don't I know. Maybe there's a, I, maybe I there was an error with my headphones. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you maybe I'm a bit. All, maybe you yeah, I actually, you know what? Yeah, actually. So at over. the beginning, so and, no, no. Let, let me start. Yeah, this is. You see how this is stupid, right? So yes, anyway, so, so so any. Well, I'm not going to do that because I'm not fucking socially illiterate. Okay. But anyway, yeah, you, you, you what you're going. So right so the issue is that. With these connections, you are propagating an anti-Semitic trope. I do not think you are anti-Semitic, just to be clear. I reserve that very sparingly, okay? You are propagating an anti-Semitic trope by saying these people are uh, uh, moving at the behest of the ADL because they're Jewish and they're under Jewish control. And when you're corrected, actually, neither one of these people are Jewish. And then you find out one of them, not only were they not Jewish, but they were not uh, uh, reacting as a result of the, the, the uh, incident that you were citing, that Kanye West was like being anti-Semitic, but it was actually because of personal insults, you fall back on the idea that it was because their wife was Jewish. Do you see that there's an issue? And then the other one, that the mailman was Jewish, right? The, like what? the idea I that the mailman. you, you, you <laughs> talked about the, the, direct, the director. The the yes, the director. Right. Yes, it was a bit hyperbolic. The <laughs> yes, <laughs> there, there is a bit. Uh, no, hey, 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 nigga. I'm talking, nigga. I'm talking. Shut the fuck. Fuck up! It ain't your turn to talk! It ain't your turn to talk! It ain't your turn to talk! Remember what we were talking about earlier? It ain't your turn to talk! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut your ass up, bro! Shut your ass up! So anyway, the, the individual that was responsible for delivering these was uh, Jewish. That's what you can... So no matter what, you're just gonna keep going... To, hey, goddamn, there must be something wrong with my headphones! I hear this nigga keep talking! So again, right? I'll say it again. Let me, you know, maybe I'll start over, right? I'll say it again. You keep defaulting on this idea that these higher-ups are in this group together, a conspiracy even as you called it, yep. right? At the behest of the ADL, you are wrong on these counts, and the then you keep defaulting. I keep hearing this nigga open his mouth. I must be wrong. That is crazy. That I keep hearing this nigga open his goddamn mouth. The fucking nerve of this guy. That is crazy. That is fucking crazy. All right. Did you call him white? Did you call me white? Did you call him? No, I'm not. Do I don't have a drop of white in me. What the fuck? My bad. My bad. I'm not even half wow. Hispanic, bro. What? 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 what, what you know what? Just keep digging wow. that hole, bro. Just keep digging that what hole. Nobody can. Hey, listen. You're already. You're already neck deep in that shit. Like, what the fuck is this shit? So anyway, you keep doubling down on this fucking. I am. I am half black, a quarter Native American, and a quarter Mexican. All right. So you quarter white. All right. What? One of what the fuck? Are you, do I need what? to show a picture of how brown my mind? What the fuck is this racist motherfucker? No, wait, fuck you. You're actually, that's racist as fuck. That's actually racist as fuck. Yeah, to call my mom white? The fuck is wrong with you, bro? That's not racist. No, my mom actually faced like racial prejudice inside of this fucking country. My grandma came here to pick fucking grapes and cotton. And you're sitting over here calling your fucking white? Oh my God. Get the fuck out of here with your racist ass. So then, so then were the Hispanic, were, 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 the, were the leaders of Lou, were they racist when they said that they were white? When, when, when yes, Nigga, I'm talking about my family. Why are, my family. Why are you acting like you know my family? Why are you acting like you know my mom? Why are you acting like you know my grandma, my grandfather? I don't have to know them. I was talking in general. I'm saying irrelevant. He's talking to you. That's fucking crazy. I made the point that, I'm sorry, I made the point. You can't tell me, hold on, you can't say that I'm t talking about your specific individual. I don't know those individuals. Well, you I just said, said my mom was white! Told race. Race. You white. just said my race. family. What the race. fuck is wrong with race. you, bro? Race is a social hold construct. Hold on, you weren't talking, race you're interrupting a social construct. construct. You, were just, you, 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 you literally interrupted me to call me white! And you're wrong again! I don't understand it. even finish. You're too busy calling Jesus Christ. Too busy interrupting irrelevant racial words. Hey, Madison, isn't that? 
Oh, well, great. You a really good one, bro. Yeah, oh. every, no, no, everyone no, no, loves you, bro. Very quickly, very what, did, what did Irrelevant say that was racist to allow you to say that back to him? Wait, no, no, no I didn't say that. I didn't say that. This wouldn't no, be no, okay if he did. Being racist. Oh, what I said was, I, said, I never, I never accused him. I never accused him of being racist. What I said was, I never accused him of being racist. What I said was, his mother. I mean, his, I, I, I thought he was half white. I thought he was half white. Turns out he's only a quarter white. So then that, that, not yeah, that's a quarter crazy. white. Okay, okay. Like, he I, I literally said that he's talking, talking about. Okay. Stop. What his Stop. Stop. Do I need to show you a picture of my mother? She's like as dark as you, bro. The fuck? He's, he's no, no. Wait, wait. He's Hispanic? literally no. He's saying that he's he has no white in him at all. Okay, so Ginger, the point that I'm making is that obviously, listen, the vast, 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 Wait, vast majority, the vast, 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 the vast, the vast, 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 the vast, vast, vast majority of Hispanic people fill out white on their censuses. I have an entire video that clearly details the fact that Hispanic entire people, Hispanic, Hispanic people have identified as white. So when again, came, when it came, when it came, when it came, when it came to, when it came to, when it came to segregation, when it came to segregation and things like this, no one is. Black, black was only identified as black was only identified as people of Negro descent. That is, listen, legally codified within this country. For those of you guys who are less informed than I, the only black person, or one, one of two. What the? Uh, le legally, hey, legally, there's three. We literally have three here. Legally, 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 were only people of African descent. Black people were only of African descent. That's what. The word means so then that's why Hispanic people were not segregated when it came to schools. Hispanics were allowed to use the whites only town cars, the whites only bathroom, the whites My only grandma fountains. wasn't so one because of those of people. Of because she, because was she was too dark, homie. She was too dark. If you if you spoke, you could be as dark as I am as long as you speak right, Spanish. Which you could be as dark as I am as long as you speak Spanish. Okay. Which is why I'll tell is my why grandma who literally I told me her story that you disagree, disagree with the life that she lived. I'll let her know that fanatic disagrees. Thank you for coming to my Thank TED Talks. You learned something guys, today. Don't, guys, don't guys, talk down to me. Okay. I didn't learn anything from you. It's a bunch of misinformation and a lot of the shit. Absolutely not. First of all, hold on. Guys, wait. Guys, please. Please. I want to let Ginger finish what she was saying and then. Sorry, I, and then irrelevant. Anymore. And then irrelevant. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. All right. Um, look, I want to let Ginger finish what she was saying. I think it would be great to have a, set up like a one one v one where you guys can talk about about the specific topics. Um, because with a panel setting, this is is is. It uh, is a little hard. Uh, you set it up. Start up. Start us. I'll be there. Huh? I said you set it up. I'll be there. You know, but it is oh, hard okay. to panel. Right. You're right. All right. Okay. Uh, so, Ginger, did you want to finish what you were saying? Uh, well, I, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss right now. Um, I think <laughs> just, I, I guess, just go to irrelevant because um, my head hurts. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, nice but don't job. talk. But, but seriously, don't talk down to me just because you think you know a conversation better than I do. It's, it's not, no, it's not conversation. No, 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 no. It's the topic. I, I don't care. Please do not talk down to me unless you want to be talked down to as well. I don't it's mind not you talking right. down to me. You talk down to me when you immediately in accuse me of 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 one of misrepresenting his mother, who happened to be of Hispanic descent. That's already what I feel like is w w where it starts. You're if you don't misrepresent what I'm saying, his if you mother. Hold on, no, 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 to you so look it's really simple it's it's really simple the thing that the thing that i feel like started that is when you start making these accusations and letting these accusations at me then of course i'm going to probably start being defensive and that's what ends up resulting in this in the conversation going the way right that it well i i just I, the only reason i i even said it was because you you misgeneralized him he's that that's the only thing so it's regardless mm. of whether regardless of whether most the majority of hispanic people sign white on their papers that doesn't mean anything about his mother so but, so so okay, i'm just i'm just saying um the way that you're saying that uh i we're talking over you and we're we're um
we're disqualifying you from certain things is the way that you're doing to the rest of the panel. No, no, but Ginger, here's the deal. Here's the difference. Because I wouldn't care about what his individual mother said. What? Here's the facts, okay? Again, I know that you don't know this history, so I understand why you would come from that stance. Does I do. Matter? But okay, Jesus yeah, it does. Christ, you it keep does. talking Shut down. That's crazy. It does. Shut up. Shut up. Every time, this is why this conversation goes these ways. So the same sense is what I was going to explain to you. So that was what I was saying was, is that, look, if you look at it, if you look at it, if you look at it, Ginger, as I was talking to Ginger, everyone else shut the hell up. Ginger, the point is, listen, it doesn't matter what his individual grandmother identified as. Negro was literally distinctly defined as only, or black was distinctly de defined as having African descent. So because of that, there were black people, black people, as dark as I am, or darker, who would speak Spanish specifically in order to access uh, train cars whenever you would get into Texas, because Texas had a specific law. If you are of African descent, then you are black. So then if you are Hispanic, it didn't matter what color so you were. Enter those if train you were, cars so, if you were so if you were so so if you were Hispanic, if you were Hispanic and you decided to speak, Sp I mean, if, so if you spoke Spanish, then they would say you're Hispanic and they would let you be on the cars. This was all around the freaking country when they passed the laws ending school desegregation. They specifically tailored it exclusively for Chinese and Hispanic people. That was it. Black people were still segregated. It did not matter the color of your skin. It mattered if you were of African descent. That's why I would say that you, if you're, if that person was Hispanic, then that person was white. The phrase Hispanic didn't even exist at the you time. You rode a bus so you're white. Alright, that's your dub, I guess. Like, what no, the no. fuck? You went to the same schools? You got No, the same she did not. My grandma did not. My mother did not. Have you have no idea what the fuck you you're talking about. All I've seen the schools they went to. I've seen the shit that they did. I saw the pictures. People. They did but not go to the same so schools. I have no idea why the fuck you're said. acting like I you know shit. You have that. no idea about right. I'm glad right. you understand right. now. Right. Thank you. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you for listening Litter, enough to understand okay. it. I'm so sorry. But I, I, okay, I want to get Glitter Bell in because uh, she also has been waiting for a bit. But I think this argument between irrelevant and, and fanatic... Only if you guys are, are down for it, I would love to arrange it. We can talk about it later. But Glitter Bell, um, uh, what did you want to say? I'll just be really quick. I know that people are tired and we're wrapping up. I wrote this down so I could get it right. Um, fanatic and Doobie are anti-Semites, and Fanatic keeps doing racisms at rally. <laughs> wow. Um, that's my piece. East. East. But um, just so you understand that, right. that, that, that listen, well, I'm not racist towards black people. And again, that word you just don't is consider not racist. <laughs> <essentialized. laughs> it's not racist. It's not racist. It's not racist. It's not racist. You understand the difference? <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm not racist against my race, so I can be crazy racist to irrelevant to his face on a panel. He's like, that's not black. Oh, he's, oh, you don't oh, think I'm black because I'm black? What the fuck? Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I'm not black. I'm being racist to the black side. I'm being racist to the white side. What's the point being racist to the black side? I was talking. I'm calling quit. I can't do it. I can't do any more. All right? What? We will arrange this for another time, uh, you know, if people want to. Bro, let, let um, me in this panel. If I could, Lamar, <laughs> look what you did, Lamar. Let me in that panel. Okay. Lamar, all right. Like uh, it, it is all Lamar's fault. I do think we should wow. all blame Lamar. Right. Um, fuck you, Lamar. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Lamar everyone. And your fucking weird ass earrings. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you. whoa, hey, that's and my friend. You don't fit to call his earrings weird. All right, fuck you. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you all for joining me. I, I, I know it, the panel got hard towards the end. I do appreciate you guys sticking through it. Um, You're welcome. Despite the difficulty. Um, and uh, and you know, thank you once again for for attending a supernova. Um, uh, I will work on the moderation skills. All right. Uh, I apologize. Don't right. you look at the Let me know. No, it, I don't it, think it, this it, is on you, stuff. It was really just absolutely one not, man. Though. Absolutely <laughs> not. No, 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 no. I, I can I can work on it. Um, okay. No, I don't work on it. All You're right. good. You go where you are. Okay. All right. So uh, everybody, get out of Love get out Roger. of here. I will I will link the peep the main panelists, guys. I'm going to link all of their links. Please go go check them out. Okay. Please go check them yes. out. Check um, out everyone okay. except for yeah. Fanatic. Nah, it's okay. Listen, I don't need y'all niggas to check me out. My points are the best, bro. That's just, it's just that simple. You want to be educated? Check out Fanatic. If you, you want, want to be an anti-Semitism charge with a racism no, charge, then go to Fanatic. Here we go. Thank you, Stardust. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. 
I, I think at this point, I think that guy is just straight up, I think he's doing it. Like, he was smiling the whole time. I think he's just doing it to get, like, a rise out of me.